Hello, welcome back to Total War Live. Hello. I obviously just said your name, so everyone Ooh. can hear me say your name. Now, I'm to start off, we're yeah. going with a software center issue where if that happens on, I'm going to check that doesn't happen on this PC because if so, that's really bad. No, it looks like we're okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> we're okay. I love it when you start a live stream and Windows says, hey, we're going to restart your computer forcefully in yeah. 10 seconds. Um, uh, that's good. Hello, so everyone. How are you doing? Wait, last okay, chance. I'll postpone. There you go. There you're all good. Okay. Sweet. Hide I don't really that. Want Just to hide that. That's I don't fine. really want to restart. Oh, okay. Hidden. It's cool. It's fine. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Total Live. It's our classic, weren't technically ready uh, yeah. intro. Well, we were. We were ready. Windows wasn't. So Windows blame Windows. Wasn't ready. He's already given us one one uh, dodgy part of a stream yes, on the first episode. It. I feel really short. Did you do this on purpose? I'm no, I just you. grabbed one of the chairs from there. It was probably Grace's. Okay. Right, so today we are playing Records Mode, Tom. We are. And as the person who did the Records Mode Let's Play... That's uh, me. Yeah, you should uh, you should probably yep. give us a little rundown of what that means. Give, give you a rundown. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty intense. Um, so the rundown is it's just... It plays out slightly differently. So units don't have... Um, they're, they have bodyguard units instead mm -hmm. of being solo units, which means they don't have duels. Now, however, when two general bodyguard units do engage, heroes will try and find each other and try and fight each other, but yeah. it's not really a duel. They'll just be fighting against each other, you know. Mm -hmm. um, battles play out a bit slower, naturally. The stamina has more of an impact, which is obviously a big one. Um, but otherwise, you've still got all of the cool, awesome features yes. that, are like, that make 3K a great Yeah, game. apart from duels and like some of the hero abilities and stuff. Yeah. Pretty much all of the stuff that we've added to 3K works in both modes mm -hmm. because it's it's still uh, they still know, did diplomacy. Exactly. They still right? did high level Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Shutdown will start at 313. Fantastic. Just don't don't just don't start. do that maybe. Um, but yes, but it does change a few things in the campaign map as well. So you're going to see things yep. like um, like for example, Lubu's epic trident halberd more of a normal spear yeah you know stuff like that yes. and it's things, all the armor yeah, things well. that were romanticized will have been toned down a little yep. bit a few bits of the costumes that might not have been uh period correct have yep. been switched around so if we uh if we just pop on over to the gameplay Whoa. screen you can see us here so i'm going to squeeze in a little bit uh so we are playing as ma tung today we are uh general of the west protector of the west um or th yeah the west that's right um, and you can see that we're about, yeah, 27 turns in here. So just under 30. And I didn't actually try to do this, but what's happened is we've ended up in a very similar situation to where we ended up with Yuran Xiao, yep. but on the opposite side. So Yuran Xiao is at war with us. He's formed a mega coalition. Uh, and whilst that's all been happening, Dong Zhuo, of course, the tyrant has been fallen. Um, has been fallen. Has been fell. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, lots of um, intrigue going on there. Loads of you know civil wars and uh, horrible turmoil, which has left Dong Min, the heir, in charge. Yep. Uh, Lu Bu, I think, has, has gone off to join another faction. As far as I'm aware, we might mm -hmm. see him though. That would be pretty nasty if that does happen. Um, but whilst all this chaos was kicking off, we marched into Chang'an and took the Child We've Emperor. So we're kind of where we left off in Romance Mode in Records. It's yeah. pretty cool. And with a different character. With a different character. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, we're carrying on, sort of. Quick one. So uh, Tabriel just asked, is this gameplay the same as the YouTube video about Martung, which was made by Jordan, and it's not, just to let you know. No, this no, is this is a separate Let's Play. We are playing the same character as Jordan played, but it's yeah. separate, and we'll probably go a bit further into the game than Jordan did, uh, as he was showing a bit more of the early game, I think. Yes, he was, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, we've got, if we can put it into different This phase. is where you just, you've been playing it through this week, and yeah. you've got through to this point. So the Han Emperor are our vassal, and we'll see them slowly capitulate over time. But whilst we've got them, we're making quite a lot of cash out of them. So you can see we're getting 1.5 thousand from their tributaries, Ooh. which is pretty nice. Um, <laughs> pretty good. Uh, whilst that's all kicking off, though, Yuran Xiao, has, as I said, has formed this mega coalition up here. Wang Quang has actually been quite aggressive. He's moved down into Luoyang. Take that tro trade point. Liu Biao is also at war with us, including his vassals as well. Uh, we've got the, the remnants of Dong Zhuo's empire up here in Anding. And the Toolmaker resource, of course, will be uh, pretty familiar to you, Tom. It's very familiar. Yeah. Played um, many a battle there. The and same then battle. Liu Jiang here has also declared war on us. So we've yep. got quite a lot of things happening, but we're in a pretty stable-ish position. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. So as you can we see... Were, yeah. Yeah, last time that didn't happen. Yeah. We were like, this is going to be great. This <laughs> is just, these things are going to happen. Definitely. <laughs> None of that happened. Uh, Liu Jiang here is uh, marching a very small army up, 
Liu Jang not very strong militarily, so we don't have to worry too much about him. I've got my stack here that's been chasing off this little um, army uh, led by Niu Fu here, mm -hmm. one of Dong Lin's forces. And we've also got um, we've also got Yu Jin here, who is marching into Yin Jiang to take the horse patches. So we'll do that quickly now, actually. So this is one of the um, Pyrrhic victory, really. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I guess we'll start. Oh, we're actually pretty low on numbers, aren't we? Yeah. Ooh. You can do it, though. Nasty. All right, well, let's um, give it a go. Straight so into the battle. Got a question from YouTube chat. Yes. Uh, Mario asks, how many turns per year do we get? Uh, there's five turns per year, five seasons, um, which is a little sort of historical nod to the five-season calendar that they had mm -hmm. in ancient China. Um, so you've got your spring, summer, um, autumn, and winter. But in between autumn and summer is the harvest season. Yep. So there you go. It's almost harvesting season, as Dan Tuso says. Yes, he does, yeah. <laughs> he said uh, that before you said Oh, harvesting. apparently this is my first battle in Three Kingdoms. It's not. We're just <laughs> loading this up on a different, uh, different battle. Is it? Ooh, this is quite a weak um, settlement, actually. Oh, you've seen this one before, haven't you? This is the uh, horse pastures. Yes, it is. Because, yeah, because I was just flying around. And yeah, I mean, yeah. Look at all the horses in there, yeah. Yeah, so this is quite a remote little bit of land, so they don't actually have many... Um, you can see the horses. Shrink. Oh, this guy's having a little nap. Ah, oh, I like this a lot. Living in pretty premium, um, yeah, premium yeah. economy. I know, right? This is good. Good life for these horses. Um, unattended, though. Unattended, yeah. Because well, it's literally just like a little horse pasture, yeah, right? So off. basically, this is a little settlement where they'll just sort of roam the plains looking for, for, for nice yeah. horses and then um, get them ready for us. Uh, not supposed to be defending against the siege, but we've come in to try and help them out. This was originally our settlement, but uh, Dong Min took it away from us. So there we go. Causing trouble. Causing this trouble is already. in um, records mode. We are playing in records yeah. mode, yes. Yeah. So this is the historical yeah, mode. So you'll notice, for example, all our generals here in their yeah. retinues. Uh, so here we've got Yu Jin, who's our commander. We've also got uh, Yang Yi here, who is yep. our vanguard. He's going to be uh, pretty useful. <laughs> And then we've also got Gujia, who I think is a legendary strategy. You can see he's got a pretty nice uh, robe there as well. Yeah. Pretty good. As far I'm jealous of his robe. I know, right? I wish I had that robe. <laughs> as far as our front line, we've got uh, some Axe Bands and some Jian Sword Guard. Uh, these guys are pretty good at holding the line. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a little bit battered um, because we've, we've been in a few different conflicts I have a already. question for you. What yes. level is the strategist? Do you have formation? Uh, he's only level two right now. But I think we do have the shield. Oh, nice, nice, yeah, nice. We can use that for a little bit of a uh, little bit of protection from their range. Do we have any? Uh, probably should have checked their army. I never do. We've also got some mounted lance and militia. Quite a few of it coming with our vanguard. Uh, quite weak in general. You've got them. Yeah, but they're cab, right? So yeah. you don't, you don't need that many numbers. So I might just set up like a little um, sort of flanking force over here. We'll put them into a group, and then these guys here can be our left hand side and we'll put them in the group as well. Uh, I'm gonna lock them up. And uh, let's get this battle off. We've got a few archers as well from our strategists, so we should be in a good position. So I'm going to move these guys up. Now I think they are there. Yeah, they are actually Watch running out. by default. So we're going to put them into walk mode because, as you said, Tom, um, stamina's pretty stamina's deep. pretty big. Yeah. So you want to be make sure basically, basically your stamina will affect how much damage, uh, how much damage you do, what your damage defense is. Mm -hmm. So um, the more stamina you have, the more effective you'll be in combat. Which guess what, Michael? That's logical. That's <laughs> life, baby. That's how fighting works. <laughs> <laughs> Less tired equals better fighting. Right, so they're just marching out. This is like a western, this. Look at that, that big rock formation. And the music at that point. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> so they're, they're marching out. Uh, I feel like they're trying to get, get that hill here, maybe hold it for us. They can see us coming around the, the left-hand side here, or our left-hand side. Quite a few units of cav, um, a little bit stronger than ours as well. They've also got this um, uh, cavalry captain as well, who's going to be a bit tonk. But we do have our um, our vanguard general. Yeah. So hopefully we can just outnumber them. Um, the Kamikaze us said the emperor is not where we were in the last playthrough. It's because this is a completely different playthrough. It just happens to be in a very similar scenario. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's that. Right. So I'm actually going to hold these guys here. Stop. So let's uh, brace. Brace for that charge. Yeah. Nice. Just got in there. Few archers uh, firing in. I'm worried actually, about this. Yeah, I am very worried about that. <laughs> so I'm going to use my archers to start firing in on those cavalry there. I'm going to set up my generals over here to try and sort of block them off a little bit. Um, you'll notice that we're getting a little bit of damage on this uh, cavalry here, but we do have an infantry captain coming in, which we need to work back on a little bit. Uh, fighting there, and I'll just wrap around that gentle guard. Our men are running. <laughs> the spineless coward. Uh, okay. 
We're fine. We're fine. Let's bring that cavalry out now because I feel like we're going to get uh, a little bit surrounded if we're not careful. Uh, these guys have noticed that we've popped the cavalry over, so they're not feeling just as confident. Although we've Warriors. opened up a little bit of a hole there, so I'm just going to retreat, try and make a little bit of a brace to protect our archers. Keep Warriors. our archers firing. and take them out of that um, skirmish mode so they can do a little bit more damage. Feeling like a shoutcaster here, yeah, you're, doing you're, a lot of you're words. Going, you're going for that bar, yeah. which, you know, it's fine. Your cav are quite bogged down. Yes. Yeah, these guys got a bit stuck there. I kind of want to wrap around, but I feel like it's going to take so long to get there. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I'm software changes are. Yeah, good. I don't know if people can actually hear that, by the way. We, we can. <laughs> we can. That's what. That's, that's why what we get really us. alarmed really yeah. randomly. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, let's start wrapping my cap around here. I'm concerned about your front line, to be honest. Yeah, it's not fantastic. Um, <laughs> but we are wrapping our cavalry around, as I said. So hopefully our we can do a little bit more the damage. Oh, these guys went for a charge. Don't remember asking them to do that. That's fine. Bring them out now. Now, as we said, stamina is going to be a big issue here, so running all the way across the map is probably going to hurt us a little bit in the long run. But we're going to get our general cavalry so you're fresh in here. and they're tired, so you yes. should have a bit of an advantage there. Don't want our strategy, not hopefully, yeah, getting charging in there. But let's keep our archers firing. They've already routed one of those cav units. We'll send our axes into the back of the other one. Um, oh, no, careful, 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 careful. That's fine, that's fine. That's They're going in, going in for the uh, for the main line. But yeah, you'll notice that um, strategists have less of a bodyguard retinue yes. than others. Um, that's just obviously defining kind of the strengths of those characters. The enemy unit flees! So there's still um, the ways in which uh, the heroes are stronger and weaker in romance mode. It's still similar to how they'll play in records mode. They'll just have it reflected in their cavalry instead. So I think the, uh, the damage that the general deals due to their instinct trait, for example, will be how much damage their, uh, their unit will be. So we're using that, yeah, there we go. Using, yeah, there's the restart, lovely. Sorry, chat. <laughs> yeah, we can't actually see chat now, unfortunately. You can, if you can slightly read it on the, I'll on get the it TV on my screen. Phone. That's a good idea, right? Move. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Ready. Archers can now focus just firing in on those. These guys can just get round, and I'm going to use my general cavalry here, and the ones that just turned up to do a nice big rear charge. These guys, I struggle to get out, so they're just going to have to hold them down. They're the ones who seem to be struggling the most, so let's get in the back of these G Militia. Oh, big charge run. now, please. Craven there we go. That's what we wanted. Right into the back of those G Militia, and that's probably going to finish them off. So we'll get that cap to pull back out now. We've got another big charge coming in. The back chat, but a very small screen on my Nice. Screen. Here we go. General's coming in for the second charge now. Right into the back of the spear guard. Oh. Nice crunching charge there, and we'll pull them back out as well. Just keep doing that hammer and anvil. Oh, we're exposed now. I think we've actually, yeah, we've lost our cavalry battle. The like enemy the unit Trying to pull my archers around to the side a little bit so they can start firing in on those uh, Lancer Militia. Balance the power's creeping away. Yeah, these guys are struggling now. You'll see that um, there's a lot of damage being dealt to them. They did manage to squeeze into one of my archer units. We'll pull them back out. Charging your strategist, it's bold play. It's fine. He's fine. He's a big boy. He's got a nice robe on. Prepare. My front line has gotten a bit messy now. Oh, your front issue. line has got very messy. It's it kind of crumbled. These guys themselves. are just coming back. Yeah. They're starting to route now. Now, this is my issue now. So let's let's pull my cav back out. To be honest, all that cavalry, very useful. Because it meant that we had lots and lots of distraction uh, tactics going on. As you can see, yeah, most of those archers now we can pull to over to the right-hand side and start firing in on the other cavalry units. We're going to see some of them start to route Our off now as they see most of their units dying. I'm actually going to pull my generals out because I'm a little bit worried about them, especially my sentinel who's taking a little bit of damage there. Only on 18 units now. They're completely routed, so we can start reforming. So let's move those guys over here as well as that cavalry unit as well. And then the rest of these lads just going to start making a nice little front line over here. And our archers can just start finishing off that unit, and that's going to be the end of the battle. Um, Arivan, I think, maybe is how you say it, asked how did your units of like less strength stand against enemies of full strength? And it's because of, like wheels kind of compressed them into that area yeah. and funneled them in, which meant because they couldn't get a flank round. It was a matter of time. If yeah. you'd have just fought that out, you would have lost. Also worth noting that I'm using Gen Sword Guard, who are a proper infantry unit, yeah. against militia units. So yeah. the militia units are always going to struggle. The only proper um, unit they had was that spear guard. Yeah. And they were quite far back, so they didn't do as much damage. And also, they're more of a protective unit as well. Yes. So there you go. But ultimately, you might not have. Won that would have been quite a close engagement if that just fought like that endlessly. But yeah. because the cap obviously eventually came around, you managed yeah. to, there you go. to do everything there to answer that question.
Alrighty. Do you enjoy this tiny chat on my phone? Yeah, no. Well, I can still read it. So that's all that matters. We're working on the updates, though. It's twenty five percent through. Yeah, twenty five percent. We can't see YouTube anymore, unfortunately. Sorry, yeah. YouTube. We will get back to you. And uh, let's have a nice real rehydration. My strategist just died. <laughs> Didn't hear that. <laughs> Why did you charge him in? I I said, you were like, know. this will be fine. <laughs> pretty, pretty died when you said this will be fine as well. Oh god, that's funny. Oh well. Rip, big F's in chat, please, for my what's, strategist. What's the name? Uh, Gorgia. Oh well. Gone forever now. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's classic mode for you. For our labors. Right, well, time to replace my dead general, and uh, the only person that we have here is Me. my son, yeah. <laughs> who is played by my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so Marchal here, so what, basically when a character dies, their retinue looks for a new leader. Yep. Uh, so Marchal here is going to come in, and uh, I might as well keep these units, because then I can at least just retrain them into cavalry units. Because we were the reason that we've just said about the Marchal thing is because you were... You're playing as Martung. Yes. And the, the plan was is that Wheels would play as Martung until he can't play in a couple of weeks. Yeah. And then I would we'd work out maybe getting rid of him and I'd become Marchal and yeah. take over as running the stream. Because for the third stream in this series, and by the way, let's have a little look at the schedule. I think it's number five input. Is it and number five? Happen right now. I think it's this one. There it is. Yes. Here's our schedule. So um, <laughs> it's meant to be like that. Yeah, no, I, I wanted it to be a little bit um, see through, but I didn't. Anticipate the uh, the UI. There we go. That's, there go. that's a little <laughs> bit more legible. <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Get away from the trees. There we go. So um, so yeah, today is the 27th. We've got three weeks once again of Martung. Plenty of action to come your way. Uh, we'll be joined next week. Will it be the two of us again? Who probably. knows? I think so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We're, we're the record mode experts now, you know. So we are. It's true. Yeah. So uh, make sure you join us for all of those streams, and uh, we're going to have a fun time. But as I said, for that third and final one. Um, I will not be here, so Tom will be taking yeah. over. So we'll try and get Martung to die, <laughs> so that Marchal will become the new faction leader, and then it will make it will feel appropriate. Yeah, exactly. right. So uh, another thing that you'll see with um, PCs back, yay! Another thing that you'll see with records mode. That's oh, you know, it's password. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Don't <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> here. <laughs> um, yeah, that. another thing with records mode is, of course, the skills will change a little bit. So you'll see that the um, the more like character centric skills that we have in these middle three. Little purple icon. Yeah, they're purple now. Have you seen that? I well, just now. Yeah. Yeah, they've color coded a few of yeah. the icons. A few people in chat were asking if this is a new build, say, and point. this was Monday's build, Monday's nightly build, I believe. Mm -hmm. So we are more up to date now. Um, so we were, we were two weeks old last yeah, week. Yeah, we, we were. So, so this this one, um, this version of the game, of course, the skills will be slightly different. So you, you won't see those big area of effect damage spell kind of abilities. Mm -hmm. This this one's going to be a bit more a uh, bit more standardized so this will enable scare though which is pretty handy a nice fearful general was always good and it gives it more damage output so we'll grab that skill as for mar chow himself uh let's have a look here could go for passion could go um, for Gak has said, why are there no loudspeaker pa system voices i'm Kappa. very sorry gackers that we uh we fixed that bug we're we're gutted that we did fatigue resistance in records mode an even more important skill, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty big. Let's go for that. I'll give, like him some, give him some more help. The as skills well. are different as well. Um, yeah. As um, obviously they don't have abilities mm -hmm. on battle. Here's my child's hey. skills. YouTube uh, chat, you are now back. Hello, YouTube chat. Uh, so yeah, this guy is sick. When he's your heir, gives you minus fifteen percent upkeep for your Chiang units, which are our special ones, plus fifteen armor for all shock cavalry, and plus fifteen percent melee damage for all shock cavalry. Faction wide, that's pretty good. which is huge. If we look at um, Martung himself, that's on top of he does have a poor background, so we don't get as much income at the start. Mm -hmm. But he gives us 100% more income from Silk and Spice, which is handy because he's right near the Silk Road, and 10% uh, plus 10 melee damage to Shock Cavalry. So Shock Cavalry in this yeah. in this army, really incredibly powerful. powerful. You're not using any followers, is that on purpose? Uh, what a Martung? And anyone? Yeah, let's have a look. So we've got. Plus a siege escalation, plus ten percent income in the ministry commandery. You want to go for a reserves. You want to go for a faction, a faction wide one. Um, trade influence would be pretty sick. Income That's from industry good. is pretty good, but I don't know How if we're making much income from yeah. industry right now. A bit two ten five oh four. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Let's go for that. So we'll get income from industry, and that's going to improve his instincts as well, which is actually. Gonna max him out. Whoa. Martung Whoa. is becoming Lubu levels of powerful here. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. All right. 
Um, oh, I've lost the question. Someone said, "Who's your, what's your favorite unit? Favorite unit? <sighs> oh, it was Einstein Joe. Azure Dragons. Azure Dragons is so good. Let's have a look at the uh, reform streak, by the way. So we've been going down this yellow chain here. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's increasing our income from peasantry, then all sources, then industry, and finally, plus 40% from silk. Oh, yeah. Plus 40% from silk when you're on the silk road is pretty tasty. Uh, we've also got a little bit of uh, military supplies here, which is handy. And I've increased my trade influences a little bit, which has also unlocked us some repeating crossbow. Very, nice. very powerful. Yeah, very powerful. Uh, yeah, very the recommends last time. They were heavy good. repeating crossbow. Yes, yeah. true. These ones are slightly less armoured. Um, but one thing I am actually going to have to go for in a couple turns is uh, I need to get some population growth because we are literally like hitting zero on some of our because the public oh order is so goodness. bad. So yeah, current minus ninety two public it's order. Not great. Not great. Um, right. So we've got that little small army there, which I'm not too worried about. I think even a garrison force could kill that off. But apart from that, we need to start moving up to Anding. And then you'll auto no also notice, as I said, Yuran Xiao is coming at me. He's coming at me. He's uh, he's also got Wang Quang there in support. Not huge armies, but still needs to be worried about. So Martung is my main force. So what I might have to do is start marching him down this road here. And start going after him. Strike while the iron is hot. Let's have a little look at our court as well. Bring it up to speed. So, Pangda is uh, one of the only three generals that you start with. Really? Is, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. Um, and then uh, we've also got, of course, Ma Chao as my heir. Ma Tung is my faction leader. Mm -hmm. We look at my family tree. We've got uh, Hanan Yu is uh, married to Ma Chao. So, that is actually one of. Um, oh, what's his name? Han Sui's daughters. So was, it, was it part of a deal? Yes. Well, so he's he's in an alliance with me, so I wanted mm. to have like a nice strong bond with him. Mm -hmm. So um, so we went for that uh, marriage deal. So Ma Chao also can start producing his own heirs yeah. as well, which is good. And then Ma Chu, Ma Chao and Ma Chu, I'm assuming that's a pronunciation, uh, will also come of age at some point mm -hmm. as well, which is good. Could you just click on your court again for a second? Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that's bad. What was that? What would have caused that? I don't know. Didn't oh, click on sorry, anything. guys. Give us a sec. Come back. That's not good, is it? That's not good. Uh, this is why we don't use new builds. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we usually pick one that's stable. Obviously. Yeah. Yep. Paying F for respects. Um, it's research. Uh, research and development? What? No, it's it currently in development. That's yeah. what I meant to say. Um, so we're always going to... We will, of crashes. course, yes, yeah. encounter some bugs. Yeah, the thing is, usually at this sort of... Um, Thanks, Sega. Uh, usually at sort of this juncture. You um, have taken your first steps of course, into a much had larger release, world. Uh, move the release date China a little bit. Back, as everyone knows. Can to people hear us? The I don't know. The it's quite now. <laughs> um, to send but a petal into the air. Where will this wind of change take you? Hopefully, not to an up crash. Hopefully. But um, yeah, as. Devs put in new features or new fixes. It can break up things, as we said, which is just kind of the nature of It cannot of be contained, yeah. and so spreads and multiplies. <laughs> I do like these, but they're not great for when you're trying to talk. There we go. War. Done. Gone. Right. So um, yeah, as we said, it can cause issues with um, with stability on more recent builds, mm -hmm. which of course can lead to crashes. So annoyingly, we'll have to do that again. But you can just it, it was an auto resolve. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Hopefully Guruji doesn't Picture die this time. Victory. He's now alive. As Grey said in the yours. chat, the dong was too big. It is ours is. by it. right. Someone asked before mm -hmm. we had the, the crash. crash. Yeah. They said, what are the speech bubbles on people's names? You can ah, yes. So, um, if we left click on our tongue. So, you can see these little speech bubbles. Mm -hmm. This is actually showing you whether or not you get on with the people in the region yeah. review. As you can see, Martung, nobody likes him because yeah. he's careless, cruel, he's also intimidating and reckless and greedy. All Not a nice guy. Yeah. Not many people get on with him, to be honest. Look how nice he is. Look yeah. how happy he is. He's, uh, he's, he's a bit of a tyrant himself. Chow has actually got the same, same dealio. Well, he's my son, isn't he? So Yeah, know. but I mean, in terms of in his, um, in that army, everyone's also unhappy with each other. Uh, oh, in oh, Gurdjieff, he's not there anymore. Yes, now, yeah. yes. Well, oh, these so guys actually, these actually guys, was in there, yeah, all, these they, guys actually get on, so they're yeah. all fine. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's some of the uh, the issues you encounter with these larger than life personalities, such yeah. as Martung. Um, right, so let's move him back over there, shall we? Um, Yar FM supports Martung's faction bonus. Uh, we actually just had a look at that. He gets quite a few, so um, so he's going to give you that melee damage to shock cavalry as well as increasing mm -hmm. the amount of uh, silk that you get from yeah. income. He's got um, a special building chain as well, which gives you food and military supplies in one, which is pretty nice. Um, and he also has a um, pretty hefty uh, special unit, which if we look at his military tab... So these are the Chiang Raiders and uh, Chiang Hunters. So he's got a special version of the, um, the ranged uh, cavalry, and he's also got those uh, those melee sword cavalry as well, which are pretty pretty good. Yeah. Papa in uh, YouTube chat saying that your save's coming. <laughs> I am technically <laughs> unintentionally save scumming. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, but that's fine, I reckon. Uh, right, the only other thing that I wanted to do was just upgrade my Silk Trader. Silk Traders are awesome, because not only do they give you Silk income, but they increase all other Silk income as great. well. So it's literally building a Silk Road between all the settlements, which is really, really nice. Um, Comrade Commodore answered the um, unit size question for us in there, which we're going to be talking about, about unit sizes later on. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, that's it. Not today. Today we're talking about class flaming shot. It's got to be flaming shot, isn't it? Oh, he's got a record as well. Ranged armor piercing damage. Oh, fantastic. Fugan, my man. Fantastic. Fugan's actually on a uh, on an assignment right now. What are your speak. thoughts on the new purple color? Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know why purple was the color selected. It used to be red. Yeah, well, it was red if it was really urgent, and that white was it. white if it was just sort of mediocre one. So I can actually see a little bit into um, Yuan Xiao's coalition over here because of my hand vassal. So they're feeding me a little bit of information on his military movements, which is interesting. There we go. Leo has signed a peace treaty. That's over there. Uh, and we've also got... Purple stands out. Purple does stand out <laughs> quite a lot, to be fair. Um, my guest house is finished completing in Chang'an, which is nice. Um, a few more people of merit. That's changed as well, the text there. It used to be Imperial Recommendations. Oh. And ooh, we've gained a nice wooden dog. That's cute, <laughs> isn't it? Who are you going to give the wooden dog to? Oh, that's a good question. Someone needs to have a wooden dog. Can we reach him? We're currently in March, so I don't think we can. Oh, no, we can still get to him. So let's go off to Sang Mangan and start pushing south as well. Guys, let us know what you think about the audio levels as well. Um, I've seen a couple maybe saying too loud, but not enough, yeah. not significant enough. Yeah, Just the game's quite loud, I think. We're... we're Hearing it in our ears is quite loud, but we never know if that's uh, representative of how it goes out. We've actually captured one of their generals. We could employ him, but I'm not really that keen on him. He's only a level quite one. old as well. Yeah, he's a bit of an old boy. Uh, 500 income? It's not to be sniffed at. What's, I'm trying to think what your income was. You're, well, you haven't got much. You're not doing... Well, I'm not... Yeah, I'm really sick around. Yeah. Let the captives go! Let's get some we have well. need of courageous warriors. Yes, we do. Oh, damn. Like the wind. Bonus Not satisfied experience. with winning the battle, our general overtakes the retreating enemy troops and lays a successful ambush, further reducing the numbers Man that can stand against us. Mountains. Hot dog. Thank you, Hanan Yu. Married into the family and making a name for herself. <laughs> right. Let's move you south. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, Liu Jiang kind of has a lot of the territory around here. This little region here, this little like basin, mm -hmm. lots of really cool settlements in here. There is a weapon craftsman here, which is very nice. Unfortunately owned by my vassal. But down here, there is also an armor craftsman. And you can get some pretty cool ancillaries for it. And I might actually have a look. Good to see you. Annex them. I <laughs> know <laughs> oh, you can't annex the hand. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Could you trade with them for that settlement? Uh, I could trade territory, yes. But if we look at trades, ancillaries, I wonder if um, I might just nah, quickly reduce some of the audio. Right, by some of the audio, I mean the audio. Yeah, just <laughs> bring the game volume down a, yes, a smidge, I, I reckon. Yeah. Just a smidge. Hi. Don't do a Jordan. No, I won't. <laughs> Azim says hi. Huh? Hello, Azim. How you doing, my friend? Right, so as for Martin, you can now start moving into Lo Yang. Might actually take this trade port. Hmm? Yes. Might actually take this trade port because they've not got a super strong force. Oh, they've got a lot of archers though. What have we got here? Decent amount of troops. We can at least besiege them. And we've got uh, the Han Empire to our north helping us out. I don't want to go too close because then they'll just get the reinforcements. 
Down 5%. I think that's a good level. Now. Let's walk back a tiny bit just so that if they come and attack us, they won't be in reinforcement range. No, I meant I meant my force. That's fine. Um, but I am worried that uh, Yuran Xiao did have an army around here, and I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it might have been that one, actually. Yeah, there we go. Pretty weak. Yeah, pretty weak. Pretty tattered. But we need to start looking after Leo Biao as well, because he might start moving after the hand. Yeah, our firm's saying spreading thing, take out the dong. We do need to take out the dong. Uh, so we've got Eugene here, recuperating his forces. We'll move him towards the border. It's a warmer climate as well, which is nice. Um, and I actually might, seeing as these guys are quite low level, start getting into repeat crossbowmen. <sighs> yeah. So these repeat crossbowmen, I think they have a slightly uh, smaller range. They do. Their range is actually yeah, significantly shorter. So if we, uh, so you can extend. By the way, you can extend these to have a look at every single Turtle War stat as you'd be more uh, more familiar with. So the range on a repeat crossbowman only a hundred in comparison to our archers who are two hundred. Yep. So literally half yeah. the it's, it's half the shooting distance. But it's quite good to have them in tandem because obviously then you can have your archers firing initially but those repeated crossbowmen will really start firing yes. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly closer, yeah. um and oh, which one of these is uh thanks jeremy i'm back again i got invited get it again yeah range attack rate is four in comparison to um i oh, know it's not that one there's a there's a reload rate i can't remember which one it is <laughs> never mind it's fine basically their reload rate is super quick so yes. they fire loads of rounds at once like a like a little machine gun which is pretty nice yeah, these guys are probably going to die of attrition, so <laughs> don't, even, don't even need to worry about them. They'll just die in the snow. Um, pretty cruel, but that's how we play it. And uh, yeah, just a, just a slow winter. We've got a few buildings that we can have a look at as well. Hang Zong is uh, currently building our silk trader there. Mm -hmm. Bit worried about public order. Public order is another one that we should probably look at increasing in the spring. Have we got one that will straight up do it for us? I think... Ah, that will give us plus two, but we don't have the required building for it. This is corruption. Yeah, we don't have any public order text right now. That's annoying. Might have to start building some temples. You might, where could you build them? Uh, well, so this is our worst one here in Hangzhou. We don't have the town. Ah, so it, we actually. need to go and colonize. That's what we need to do. Right. Can we take a look about Chinese voiceover? We, um, we could possibly look at doing that next stream. We have to restart next the game. Lot. Yeah, the yeah. next chunk. So in a few weeks. You would not need fear us. Ooh, Grand Chu wants a non-aggression pact. Oh, and my water clock and my dog <laughs> in uh, in exchange for only a grand. Negotiate, I reckon. Let's have a look at this, shall we? It's a fair deal. Well, in his eyes, anyway. I don't know if a non-aggression pact with Grand Chu is that, that useful. Though. Yeah. All the oh, things. he will be on my borders as soon as I take that settlement, though. <sighs> Could be useful, but then... But then I, I would be able to take Lo Yang off him. I don't want to make too many enemies. We saw what happened with Yuan Chao. He's also an arrogant opportunist. Do you know what? Uh, we'll just we'll just say no for now. And maybe he'll give us. us a better deal later. We don't have to be too too eager, you know. Mm. Uh, we can't swap it midstream because you have to restart the game you. for yes. uh, this must uh, end. the voiceovers. Mine's peace negotiation. Sorry, buddy, but <laughs> I don't think Han sways in a in a very peaceful mood. You, you said you're one tiny army after us, and they immediately yeah. die. <laughs> and he's like, "Uh, maybe we've made a mistake." Oh, that's um, it's one of Liu Biao's vassals, isn't it? Liu Dai and Dong Min forming a coalition together. Oh no! Uh oh, spaghetti! -o. Liu Bei, that's interesting. Must have done it. That's really interesting. Tao Chen has now been replaced by Tao Sheng. The Betrayer, my Let's Play. Ooh, we gained a great glaive. That's Who cool. Who are you going to give it to? I don't know. Who to give that to? Let's have a look at some of our uh, some of our generals. Yeah. Um, Tang's reserve said, Wheels, are you, the new, uh, are you really Doctor Who? Because every episode you've got a new companion. <laughs> <laughs> like Is that. it every episode? I thought it was like every season or something. I don't know. I haven't watched Doctor Who in a very long time. Uh, we could give it to Yang Yi after his successful battle. There's a nice little, uh, nice little prize for him. Or maybe one's uh, he's, Yang Yi's at a higher level. I respect him more. Let's give it to him. That's going to improve his instinct as well. And Jay Bennett in YouTube those. said, "Do not give your dog. <laughs> Do not give the dog. The dog is too important." Oh, I've just realised that. Um, does Ma Chao have a follower? No, he does not. So we can give the other. Uh, we, well, do we want reserves or do we want trade influence? 
or do we want income from industry? I thought I just... Oh, because we crashed. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's Is give that one back. Yeah. Yes. And then Marchal, you can it's have... It's factionary again, so you didn't want the faction wide one. Trade them for... We're pretty low on food. I yeah. think reserves might be a good idea. Let's grab that. As far as accessories... Dog, dog, dog. We'll give them authority, which would improve uh, satisfaction. Look at the dog. Yeah. Yeah, but the dog's resolved. I'll tell you what, have we got a champion? Yeah, Pang Dirt. Yeah, does the same amount, given the dog, obviously. <laughs> um, the water clock is replenishment. Oh, that's interesting. Part of the set as well. The astronomer. I love the sets. The sets yeah, yeah. So good. Don't think we have an astronomer. No, we do not. Okay, that's fine. Right. People are very disappointed about the intercom, intercom bug. Yeah, I know. We should. We really should just look at making it a little. Uh, Steam Workshop mod or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. so that uh, people can have it. Right, let's start moving this force down south. It's a little bit one-dimensional this force, but I, I feel like, seeing as how quick they were to make peace, I feel like they've actually really biffed themselves by setting yeah. that army out too early. Um, those guys still hanging on. There's three units left, desperately trying to get to Dincheng, I think, but they're garrisoned. That yeah, we can take them out easy. Um, Marshall, sorry, Marshall's four said, "Can a child rise up to legendary commander status?" He's got two questions, so I think. Go on. So, legendary characters. There's two types. Mm -hmm. There are there's the unique characters, obviously, who have their own custom art, um, and they are legendary because they have the gold names. And you'll see that Gurjir here, although he doesn't have custom art, he's still a legendary strategist because there'll be notable characters from the time period. But also, new legendary characters can be spawned in the same way that generic generals would come out. It means that they'll actually accrue experience quicker, I think. So they'll progress up the ranks further. So if we look at our oh, wrong card. if we look at our core and then our family tree, Marchu we can see is not a legendary character. So it's not that they become I think legendary. The family tree is causing It is the family issue. tree crashing it, isn't it? Right. We've right learned out what it is. Write that down. Oh I've just got to do all the things that I just did again. Oh my god. That's fine. Oh god. It's we fine. know what it is now, though, so that's fine. Sorry, guys. So basically... Classic in development. Yeah. That's fine. We know what it is now. That's the key thing. Yes. Because as soon as you... No click, more family tree. As soon as you <laughs> clicked on it, I did go... Wait a minute. It's the, fam <laughs> it's the family tree. <laughs> Someone's saying, I'll just start another campaign. Right. Go. I like how quiet it goes as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, for us, it's then just like really quiet. Um, but the other thing as well with the legendary characters is obviously mm. some are already children in the game. Yes. For example, Sun Xiao. Yeah, so Marchal starts as a child. Yes. Um, so you will see uh, his you name in gold, even though she's a little baby. Steps yeah. into a much little baby boy. Yeah. And so they China will grow up as. Changing. Gosh, talking again. And it takes only the slightest breeze to send a petal into the air. Where will this wind of change take you? War is as a Asking great inferno. Hmm? It cannot be questions. contained. They are the big questions. And the so big spreads questions. and multiplies. On many fronts, you now wage war. Take care not to be overwhelmed. The other question. Just take care not to be overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> the other question was, um, can you buy followers as well as items? I guess. Okay. Yeah, you can trade with other factions. Yeah. Whether um, that's for money, yeah, or any kind of ancillary, items, yeah. or anything. We would not to be your enemy. Check that. You dare spurn us? Can you alter the traits of a character? I think the way in which you play will affect the traits of those characters. Yeah. Get. Once the they've got that trait, they've got that trait. He rejects our generosity. Right. Sorry about that. Let's rattle I'm through this. Never go on the family tree again. There we go. Oh, we didn't get our gold <laughs> wave. Oh, we've been punished for that one. Oh, Pang Do has become cheerful. What a lad. Oh, wasn't that good? <laughs> right. Okay, well, in that case, we'll give it to our commander instead. A nice new sword. A nice noble sword. It's pretty cool, actually. Right. Once again, sorry about that. These guys have already been punished. That's fine. He's got full... Should we just go for this instead? Is that what, not what you did last time? Followers, give yeah. him that. Yeah. This, then, march out. Give him that one. Yeah. Yeah, cool. That was all we did, right? We were just looking around no, and, and you gave, questions. um... Pang the, the... The dog. The dog. The dog. 
because that's key. Blue. And then March out gets the Kleons. Done. Right, cool. That was all the things, right? Yeah. Okay, let's do a battle. Kill this guy off. Yeah, okay. So we're actually sieging a trade port now, so this should be interesting. Drop my post it note and Let us strike right now. Whilst the iron still seeds. You are a mighty um, bow. Unbreakable. Knight? Knight. It is comforting. Uh what the balloons with a red crosses come from the mouths. mouth. They are we <laughs> Software change the required. Your words um, are as impotent as We explained you. those earlier, so they're basically the relationships that the generals have with the other generals within the army. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. So if it's got the little cross, it means there's negative. Bas it um, shows how compatible they are, yes. their compatibility. So um, Ma Chao is basically not a very nice man. Yeah, no, neither is his dad, Ma Tung, so nobody Sorry, likes him. So here we are, lovely little trade port here, um, which is quite cool. You see the little trade ships over here. Um, and then we've also got a few different regions. So our capture points right in the center here. Some little uh, marketplace, which is nice. And they've got a few choke points. They're, they're actually pretty well defended by this sort of natural terrain around here. Uh, and and then you then have no points. ranged. I do not. <laughs> I do not have any range, but we do have the numbers advantage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, you and you are going to form this flank over here. And then you and you three are going to form up on this flank over here. And then, uh, this is actually my wife, Hua Lan Ni. Uh, he, uh, or she rather, is going to form the sort of central force. And because that's quite a small little gap to get through as well, I think what we'll do is we'll actually grab, um, we'll grab the Jan Saw guard at the front. Yeah, maybe. Yes, um, there is there is voiceover. Um, what's the what's the what is um, Mandarin voiceover, right? Yes, yes. Um, with English UI and subtitles and everything. Yeah, that is available. There we go. Right. Yeah, kind of like uh, Shogun Two, where you have like the. Um, in that case, it was Japanese, uh, but you had the the subtitles to tell you what was going on. So yeah, it'll, it'll, all the UI will be the same, but they'll they'll speak in uh, in Mandarin. Weapons! <laughs> Tamriel raised a great point, which is that uh, your your wife is in your army, but she doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I mean, like there are a lot of people who didn't like their wives <laughs> in this time the period, <laughs> or their or yeah. didn't like their husbands rather. Um, classic example being anyone who was around Dong Zhuo. So there you go. Uh, right. So let's yeah, we'll split these into two little groups. So this will be group one, and then a number of these weirdly. So this can be group four. Uh, so they'll so they'll go for this uh, this little gap here. Whilst these guys for the, the little top, so it's marching Weapon forward. Ready. And once again, we want them in walk. Jay Bennett with the relationship system. Um, so yes, it's it's that's the, the number of slots shown are how many it can be filled out by. And yes, people it will show the most prominent ones. So yeah, it it doesn't mean that it caps the amount of relationships no. you have. It just shows the most important ones. Yeah. So if you were to have relationships with everyone, it would only show the ones that are impacting you the most. Mm -hmm. Negatively or positively, yeah. If if you had a, if you had that many relationships to show, and we showed once had a biscuit with your own yeah. chow, <laughs> it wouldn't be that much of a <laughs> use if you were. I don't know. Could have had a biscuit. Why not a biscuit? That's what I say. Okay. Right. They've got a few archers here. This is um. You'll notice that uh, in the same way that um, your general's retinues will be affected. Also, the sort of like element that the building is. So, for example, this is a trade port, so it's commerce, so it's a water building. Um, you'll see that affect the kind of garrisons they have. So, this is quite archer heavy because they've got that um, that blue style building. So, I'm going to go for a quick surge in here to try and kill off some of their archers. Also, give them something to think about whilst we're charging through. We have got a few saving militia here that we need to be worried about, but we don't want to get up too much. So let's just pull back now. It's probably for the best. Yeah, pull back. We've just captured that tower as well, which will stop firing on us, which is nice. Uh, and then we'll start charging these guys up now. Go. Go, 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 go. You lads, get in there. Put the axes and you love right there. 
and then you're going to charge forward because they've put their Axe Band here instead because they're bringing their G Militia to reinforce in other parts of the settlement, which is really nice, which means that um, we can start charging in through this as well. That G Militia was kind of halting my advances, but we've got our unique cavalry here as well, which I'll give you a nice little cinematic view of. So these are the, uh, the Chiang Cavalry. They're pretty cool. They've got uh, Marchal sort of like fur collars as well, which is nice. Very thematic. We're just going to charge into this unit of Axe Band. They haven't quite managed to set themselves up as well, so they're going to take a lot of damage from that. Good stuff. We've got our Jian Swords marching in, and oh, we've got some of these boys in. We don't want to send all of them in at once, actually. Let's just grab a few of those to come back. So they've got a Spear Guard uh, actually protecting that, which is going to be quite tough to get through. But we'll keep splitting them up, making sure that they've got. Um, Lots of things to think about at once. Their archers have used Cavalry. almost half an hour. Well, yeah, so exactly. They're kind of managing to, to they don't, a lot of those. Yeah, I think those are uh, garrison archers as opposed to the strategist archers, which means they're not benefiting from his ability to supply more ammunition. Oof, they they are doing a lot of damage, one. though. This isn't going great. Right. Yeah, it's really nasty. Really nasty. But as they said, it's going to be a close victory if we do get it. So, front clash here. They've actually got their general up front there, which is uh, definitely contributing to the fact that we're having. I've got so much cavalry and I just can't get them in. Yep. That's the problem, so I'm just going to have to be a bit more <laughs> I forceful. Mean that's, yeah, that's their advantage of, yeah. of being in here for sure. Yeah, you're a bit bogged down. You need to just find a gap, but they're kind of reacting to you pretty well. Yeah, pushing in here, making sure that Sabre Infantry has got something to think about. Sabre Infantry, as I said, very weak. Should make it a bit more difficult for them to hold. Um, I might actually just start pulling my axes around here yeah. to uh, see what I'll do. I'll just do a little line draw. You like that, don't you? I love that. <laughs> you want to tell people how they do it? Yeah, you just hold down shift and uh, and then right click and drag. Yeah, you can see their archers are out of ammo here now as well, which is really good. Do I want to try and pull through this unit? I think I might have to. It's doable. Yeah, the them. amount of mass we've got it should be fine. There we go, let's pull into those archers and then we can get in the back here and start alleviating some of that uh, that forward wall that they have. Once we've got... Oh, that axe pad is taking a lot still can't get in. Keep You've left those Keep guys go. kind of exposed. Yeah, might that's, be able that's to bring why I'm yeah, right. charging these guys around Don't here. forget your stamina, though. Yeah, I know. What's the stamina, so? It's not great, mate. It's not great. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> uh, we're sprinting into everything that we can because we're trying to use our maneuverability. Kill off those archers. Tempted to just grab one of those, get them in the back of them as well. They have definitely got the advantage here, but these guys, yeah, they've gotten in now, so let's just charge through. They've opened up a nice slot for us to charge into those archers. These oh, archers are just running. holding a little bit too cowards. much for my liking. This isn't good. Keep pushing forward. Those spear guards are really good at holding down. There we go. We're starting to charge in now. Axe Band should make short work of these archers. And you can see they're losing a bit of their organization now. Trying to pull me in to try and surround me, but now we've killed off most of that archer unit. Yeah, they're starting to route swarm. Charge into the back of that Axe Band there. I think I think you're probably going to win. Yeah, Obviously it's that, just going to be a costly numbers. one. It's just going to yeah. be yeah. real costly. Oh, they're really yeah. tired. Yeah, they're exhausted. You can see they're barely running. Just need to free this up. Our warriors run! Craven dogs! Which ones? Over there, that's not good. Right. Pushing this um, Saber Infantry over here. Oh, not Saber Infantry, sorry. These are the Jan Sword Guards. So I'm going to charge them into the backs here whilst we're dealing with those archers. Yeah, that was a big charge on them. Let's get our cab away from the Spear Guard. Just make sure they can't do too much damage to us. Charge into these archers. We'll probably just pull through them, to be honest. But that means that we're starting to push through on this on this choke point, which is really good. The swords yeah, are kind of reinforcing from the top. Pushing though, through, so pushing ooh. through. Morale not doing great. Pushing through. We're all good, mate. This is fine. This is fine. Let's march those guys up a little bit closer. This is a slog, and these Jansor Guard are doing a very good job considering how outnumbered they are. Well, they're solid frontline unit. Yeah, That's they what really they're designed are. for. Is Look at the enemy run! Craven! Oh, that's good. Starting to get a few more retreats well, this now. Is, um, this is the classic, well, 
said is a classic or traditional. It's full records, but yeah. it's yeah, a classic. <laughs> that record. really was a sentence, man. Oh, that really was, was a sentence. Well, it's because I then realised half because obviously usually you just see the two. Is it this or this mode? And yeah. you just kind of just do whatever. And I was like, wait, it's the same thing. Marching them round this corner here to try and just charge into this big old clump. They've really, just not got enough legs on them. Right, just reform there. Reform there. MP Souls said, are there de deployable defences? Like there are, yeah. There's barricades. Um, stuff like that. I might have to just pop my child around. He's not been doing enough. But they're not in settlements. So, uh, not in settlements. They're not in resource um, maps. They're yeah, only in proper sieges. Yeah. Oh, these archers are holding the line now. He is an archer captain. Yeah, what's Martung up to? Martung is now charging around to try and get in the backs again. Slowly, though. A unit has perished! None are left. Oh, God, I actually, you might lose. This. this ain't good, man. This ain't good. Right, here we go. Oh, get that strategist. He's looking weak. No, it's not the strategist. I need to start actually hitting this clump of units. I'll tell you what, that sentinel, really tanky cavalry unit, because of course they're a sentinel. So they're uh, they're going to hold down that line really well. Come on, lads. Fight. They're knackered, aren't they? Can barely move their horses. Nothing left. Go on. Champion right at the front. That's it. Big charge in the back. This is really going to help now. Yes, bit of a route there now on their on their sentinel. Oh, just moved all of their units up now to defend. Marchal's getting in. Quick march. The men are knackered. They Show are really yourself. tired. Oh, this has not Our been a good siege. Craven dogs. Uh, we've not gone about this the right way, mate. What do you mean we? Uh, we're a team, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, nice. Killing off that axe band there. Once again, same as what we did with the champion, really. Pull through, charge into the back of those uh, saved militia. Martung is a lot fresher, so this is going to be really beneficial. There we go, big crunching charge. Look at that damage. Those men are going to be so weak at the moment, and their yeah. defense will be really low, because they've been fighting now for Look, the enemy yeah, run. so long. Let's Craven. crush them now. So we'll Ready. use those guys to start marching up they're obviously not going to be uh, very organized because there's so many of them in this tight space now we'll start marching martin around get him to kill off these tiny little archer militia All three of them yeah and this is where they're going to start feeding the losses i need to get down here again that line just needs to hold for the starting to wave if i can just hold for a tiny bit longer yeah go 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 so many archers this is it there it is. Around the back as well. Get a nice fine bar. Perfect. Stay hydrated, bot. Stay, Stay hydrated. hydrated. Stay hydrated. It's back. Keep charging. Keep pulling through. This isn't the best way of using these uh, these cabs, but this is how we're going to have the to do it. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Keep charging. Just keep charging. This is where we can do the all control A action. Get on, uh, get on that general. Try and kill her off. This is this is such a, a cluster. They're going to charge in on those archers. Really need to kill off those enemy generals. The units themselves are actually routing pretty heavily. They have got that one little unit of GE infantry in there, which is kind of nasty because they're going to be hitting our horses, but it's not much. The enemy like unit flees. Going to pull out for another charge. This might be enough. I think you're on other infantry. Oh no. It's Kill off that strategy, it's nice and easy. This should be okay. nice and easy to take down. Yeah, they're starting to route now. Well, I've turned, a, I've turned a close victory into a Pyrrhic victory, so well done me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, there it is. Managed it. Oh my god, that was a slog. That was really hard. That was close. Ouch. Good job, though. Not kind really. <laughs> you, you didn't die. It was yeah. a point where I was like, I think you could have lost it, really. And you can see the cav that are getting all the kills. Yeah, yeah. These these cavalry, especially these Chiang, uh, Chiang Raiders, I think they're called. Really, really good cavalry unit. Celebrate! Our victory was just. Right, we'll this that. To us now. We'll At least we'll get a little bit of replenishment now. What I'm worried about now, though, she's getting pretty close. Though she's got, yeah, she's not got enough forces. Maybe they're running out of supplies. Uh, a little level up, Panga. Maybe we should give him a follower as well. Bit that one might. Yeah, be faster nice. siege escalation, and it's giving him uh, health and armor, which is pretty nice. Or not armor, but rather uh, evasion. Cool. Right. He was a white horse general. 
White Horse General? He was, yeah. Oh, Pangdurits. Pardon me. Yes. Yeah, there you go. On a brown horse. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more of a, a question of his character as mm. opposed to. Did he ever. Was his, was his history? No, he was, his was bit with me from the start, yeah. Okay. Um, so. I just didn't know if he had any affiliation with Gonson Zan. We could give him fatigue resistance. We could also give him running speed. That one's pretty good. <sighs> Not that. Encouraged is good, though. It means that units around him will get a morale bonus. I think we might want to go for the fatigue resistance again. It's really, really important. Fatigue can really hurt you. You can see that he's got a lot of wood traits as well. He's cheerful, he's humble, he's aesthetic, he's uncomplicated, he's a little bit stubborn. But, but you, you can see why he doesn't get on with Martung. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like an all round really nice guy, you know? What's what's his uh, what's Martung's wife's uh, character? So she is also reckless, uh, but also gracious. A little bit incompetent. Yeah. Uh, solitary, quiet, and artful. So, you know, a little bit of a sort of solid silent type, you know? Uh, if we look at the relations here, um, actually getting on well with Ma, Tung, uh, Ma Chow, sorry, despite the fact that they're... And it's actually, if you look, it's only the fact that she's become quiet and solitary that they're not getting on. So she, in her old age, has become a little bit more like, oh, I don't want to... She's not old, she's mid-30s. Yeah, that's old, that's old <laughs> age at this time, right? <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, as she's grown older, she's she's sort of changed characters a little bit, and it means that people aren't getting on for her as well as they did. Um, I'm actually going to start replacing some. Ooh, didn't do that. I'm going to start replacing some of these uh, units with spear guards because they're already low strength anyway. So we might as well start upgrading them because also yeah, we've got loads of income. Yeah. So there we go. Nice. Right. So that that should make us a little bit more formidable. Um, we're still waiting for those Axe Bands and Gen Swords to come back. They're going to take two turns before they're actually uh, ready to rejoin us, which is pretty nasty. Um, right, as far as over here goes, still waiting on this replenishment. There's not a whole lot of um, faction support over here, so I'm actually going to move him down into the Silk Trader, where he's got a little bit more uh, room to grow, which is hopefully... Ouch! This is no population. Yeah, there's no population whatsoever. Oh my god, yeah, no wonder. That was a... Move him back. Uh, okay. Deflect with shield. What are you doing? Cleave He's going to steal the territory. He's fine. Look, little border there. Oh, was that the border? Yeah. But yeah Still, it. yeah, it's going to take a few turns. There's not enough population anywhere. This is why I said I need that tech. Mm. Speaking of, let's grab it. Really, really desperate for some uh, for some population here. This is one of the struggles that Martung will have. Is um, public order is is really difficult for him. I think it might actually be one of his traits is causing that. If we look at him, I think, yeah, minus four public order faction wide because he's cruel. And usually you start with like just plus or minus zero until yeah. you start overpopulating. So he's just getting minus four everywhere. Smart Chowls. So similar vibes. Minus five public order in it. It is administered commander. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I don't know if he has any other reason. Similar. Yeah. So he does get satisfaction for his other generals, which is nice. Only 19 years old. Ancient in your terms. Yeah. Uh, where grows the quickest? I think, actually, um, basically, those places which start with loads of farmlands and stuff like that, they'll really help with like population growth and stuff like that. Um, because you'll see that that sort of nice, wealthy supply of food will really help out. The Han Empire have so many generals. I can see why we're not getting enough cash from them, because they're just, look, look how many armies it's they're fielding. It's crazy. But they have so much territory to defend. They do. And like, it's not solid block either, yeah. is it? It's like really spread out. Xinjiang, actually, struggling. I think um, once I took over the Child Emperor, it actually sort of pieced them out with a few factions because they become a vassal of someone else. So they're going to have to make a conscious effort to fight me as well as them if they want to start getting that territory. So that's one way that you can sort of dampen some of those coalition factions as well. Under Demon 420. Do armies <laughs> require food like Thrones of Britannia? They don't require food, no. They require uh, military supplies, though. Um, so food is only uh, affecting your actual settlements. And you'll see the reserves come in as well. But you can use food to um, move it into other uh, bits as well. So you can get certain buildings where the amount of reserves you have, I think, will affect the amount of military supplies and stuff like that. So you can start um, 
taking things off to, to increase things in other places as well. So, My favorite thing to do with food, sell it. Yes, that is another very, very good uh, practical application. Right, so we've taken Luoyang Trade Fort, which is very nice. Um, moving this guy up soon. I'm worried about what's in here. I might actually, we've got a spy position open. We'd have to recruit someone new, but we've got a bit of cash. Let's grab, ooh, Yuran Shu's daughter has left him. Where do we want to send this spy? Chat? Who Where do we want to send this do spy? Do we want to send it to... Um, Maybe Yuran Shao? Do you, want to, do you want to go short term or long term? I think long term. I think long term. Apparently, Ma Chao cut Huan Han Sui's arm off at some point in the story. Wait, so could you send Shao's daughter? Shu's daughter. Short Shu's daughter. Yeah. That could be quite good, good to send it to Shao. Let's do that. Send Our it uncle. to Yuan Shao. Right? Yeah. There you go. That's how relationships work. I think they're probably brothers. <laughs> I think they're like half brothers or something. So yeah, let's do that. Let's deploy her over there. So we'll get some uh, some info on that soon. Also, my faction cancel. Give me a new mission at the moment. So let's do that. Overpopulation, do you reckon? Um, <laughs> that might be in Chang'an, actually. He wants me to, to build up one of our settlements. But that will give us population growth, which would be really handy. So... That is definitely something that we can look at. Uh, yeah, Chang'an's got a sizable population, to be fair. So that might be what we're talking about here. We would do okay. But we'll look into that next turn. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, right, yeah, Yuan Xiao is fleeing, which is good. Dong Min still just walking around, dying of attrition. Us. Kong Rong coming in. Hello, Kong Rong. He wants to give us all of our food. In exchange and all, all our auxiliaries in exchange for a non-aggression pack. Do you know what? I'm all right, Kong Rong. Thanks. Thanks anyway. Uh, thanks. He must be doing right for himself. If, um... Kong Rong has a pretty solid start position because he's he's uh, pretty good friends of Liu Bei, which means that he has like his own border where people just won't hurt. Ah. He's now joined the coalition. The Dong Zhuo side, though. Or Dong Min, oh, sorry. Oh, no. That could be bad. Ooh. Because now we could turn on to you. Ooh. Wait, what? Holy moly. Oh, no. Dong Min has transitioned his uh, coalition into a military alliance, which means the so we're now Liu Bei is now at war with me. Yeah. Dong Min was already at war with me. Um, so that's all that's changed for you. Yeah, pretty much. So, hold on, let's have a look at that then. Oh, your aunt Shu declared war on Liu Biao as well. Oh my goodness. That works for us, actually. I like that one. Everything's going on. Uh, Gao Gan repressed the Tan Fu to join the war. Oh my god, has Han... Has Han Sui died? No, that was a different different faction. Uh, Yuan and Yang is um, dispatched. Oh my god. So many things just happened. All of them not yet chaotic. Yeah. But they're, they're certainly going to kick off soon. Sai Mao, after having his faction destroyed, is just, uh, offering his services to us, which is quite nice. Um, Hua Lan Li has become trusting. And Wu Fu has become uncomplicated. Right. So, if we look at diplomacy and pop the old faction grouping on. Uh, so we're in the Sacrificial Tree Alliance of Lan Sui. Uh, but the Fire Across Water Alliance and the Woodless Half Alliance, all of these factions are like now at war with us. Apart from Liu Dai. Um, so Liu Bei, Dong Min, Han Fu, Zhang Yang, Wang Quang, Gao Gan, and Yuan Xiao all at war with us, as well as Liu Biao and Huang Zhu, Jia Long, Liu Jiang, and Xi Xi. Just a couple. Just a few to factions. Name a, few. a few factions. Right. Speaking of Liu Jiang, let's keep moving this guy down. I want to take that livestock farm because food is uh, looking pretty. Uh, Pretty issue. Pretty much of an issue. Words. Just can't do words. Uh, let's upgrade our large town as well. How do you feel about that? I think, I think that's a pretty should, good that move. Be most of your money that you have right now. But yeah. But it means that we're going to get that faction wide uh, yeah, po population growth, which is really, really nice. Um, Are you moving your army down the south? I'm going after Anding. I'm just not sure what he's got there. That's what worries me. Should we just dip our toes in the water? Wouldn't you want to stay in your own territory? Let's go there then. Okay. Oh. 
Not I quite. Wait. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, d these are really large regions, and they're quite slow to move over, so it's difficult to send a military campaign up here. Um, and then as for my tongue... Let the horse peel with laughter. Still replenishing, that's for sure. Because well, you've got poor faction support there. Yeah, that's true. Red. All right, so um, I think Yuran, Shu, and Liu Biao are probably our next sort of targets. Yuran Shu only got three regions here, and it would mean that we would take Lo Yang. And once we take Nan Yang, we can also take what I'm assuming Liu Biao is taking for the X. This is red as well, uh, which is the Jade Mine, which would be a nice income uh, boost for us as well, which would be pretty tasty. Are you moving down towards here? Yeah, this guy's already moved. Okay. He's on his way. I missed that. On my way. Do -do -do -do. Uh, those guys are still dying. They don't know what to do with themselves. He's desperately trying to get back to Anding. But yeah, they're probably going to die of attrition on the way. Um, and this might just be a little uh, little bit of a... Um, what should we call it? An administration turn. We'll just end our turn there again. Move it into the autumn. Let's see what your Anshao's up to. Still, still running away. Bit. Yeah. This water in. I think we'll just kill him off there, won't we? Uh, the Han Empire uh -oh. requests aid. Uh oh. To defend them against Yuan Shu. Uh oh. Okay then. Mm. Ooh. That's not good. I think that's only him joining the rest of them. Because technically everyone else was at war. Yes, I guess so, yeah. yeah, so we're really moving into this little mosh pit, as Jordan calls it, in the center of the map, <laughs> where there's a lot of factions. When did uh, you call it that? Today, I think. Okay. Yeah, a real mosh pit in the center. Um, Dong Min and Yuan Xiao have signed a, a peace treaty because obviously they're both trying to kill me. Han Fu and Gongsun San have uh, gone to war. Yuan Xu declared war on the Han Empire, which has declared war on us. Mm -hmm. um, Alliance of Liu Dai declared war on Alliance of Ma Tung. Mm -hmm. Hello, friend. Hi, Tom. Thanks. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting to know. Thank you. Um, Thanks, so, Tom. Bye. Tom Phillips, our uh, our friend from the community team, has uh, just noted that Ma Tung actually has. Yeah, there we go. He actually has his own special stance, which is really useful. Um, so, when you go into your encampment stance, Ma Tung will actually give. Plus two food production from foraging, and will also give military supplies um, as he normally would. So that's really, really useful actually for when you are struggling for food, yep. which in the in the start pods that he has, very handy. So there you go. Uh, are Watford going to win today? I really hope so yep. because that would be excellent for us. Perhaps we'd even look at maybe breaching the top six. It's not happen. I've got another big question. Yeah, where did you get these CA branded post-it notes? Oh, they're in the um, supply cupboard, I think. Yeah, I know. They're really cool. Uh, Yuran and Yang has been recruited by oh, Yuran Xiao. Yes. Very good stuff. That is good news, sire. She was, he was like, oh, hello, uh, my my nep my niece, sorry. Would you like to would you like to join the faction? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Nothing untoward going on here. <laughs> uh, right, so... I didn't head towards Ma at any point. <laughs> so, uh, just a court noble at the moment. But that has unlocked a few options for us. So we can see what he's got going on for him. Um, not that much cash, but a lot of food. Three armies being fielded, eight ancillaries, one administrator, three assignments. And he's got one minister in his council. Um, population quite low. Yeah, population not huge. About the size of Chang'an. So he's struggling. Although, as I said, um, he's actually not taken that many regions. He's just chosen to make a big coalition with all the regions around him. So on his own, not that powerful. But if you look, he's got four different people in his alliance, so pretty big. Um, we can have a look at his characters as well. No one too difficult. We can see that Wen Chu is actually struggling for satisfaction, which is interesting. Um, got his command. Yeah, he's only got two commanderies here. And then, wow, yeah. he's in struggle city. Yeah, he is really struggling. Um, and those are his armies. Yeah, not too powerful actually. Yeah, not too powerful, but good to know. Maybe we can start wrestling some of his, uh, pardon me, some of his um, settlements off him through uh, a little bit of espionage, which is interesting. Dragon Boss says, "How can somebody find out if your character is a spy?" Uh, there's a few ways. The most common one is if we were to do one of these actions and it failed, then it would kind of reveal them. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if we did last sneak, where it literally just means steal a random item and then run home, yeah. <laughs> which is one of my favorite actions. Literally, like. 
D grab a sword! Ah! And then just run away. Uh, get a wooden dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Ooh! She's already in his family tree because she's... Oh, that's huge! That's so good. That's so, so good. good. The reason we're so shocked by this is usually Water the family actions only appear if you get married in. Yes. And that's not very common. I've yes. only seen that like twice in any of my playthroughs. But because Yuran and Yang is already Yuran Shao's uh, niece, he's already on his family tree. So basically what this means is we can assassinate. Yes. The faction heir. We, we can need kill off points. the heir. Oh, that's cool. And I believe it just it will come up at some point for the faction leader. I think it does. It sometimes. Just I think comes, you, it's you like also a... need to be in some of these. I think they'll yes, chain as well. Yeah. yeah. So there's a few things that you won't grab from um, that you won't grab from the what should we yeah. call it uh, the the family tree unless you've got yeah. other things. And as also, well. we can't. People are saying don't open the family tree. We can't actually see there. We can only see our own so. family tree. Yeah. It's only our family tree that we can see. Um, but yeah, there we go. And we're not going to be opening that because it will crash the game. Uh, which I'm assuming Dev have been told about. So we'll grab this next no. uh, They're turn. watching, so they'll know. Yeah, yeah I'm assuming they know. Um, they've only got a few archers, and it's a livestock farm, so they shouldn't have a very big garrison. Ooh, not a bad garrison, to be fair. But still, should be fine. Should be fine. Um, should we just kill him off? Just put him out of his misery? Oh, it's a bit harsh, but... Or should we just walk to ending and start finding out what he's got in there? I think we, yeah. I think we need to. Have a peek. Moving have a little peek. One. I'd love if he comes back and kills oh. you or something. Ah, I told you, it's really difficult to move over these big old... Um, could you like, go into Achilles March or are you already in March? If I go into March, then I, I could get ambushed. So I'm wary of doing that. Um, yeah, we're really hurting for... We've basically got really low manpower in our faction right now, which is really hurting our uh, replenishment rates. Uh, we've got our units back, so they're going to start building up. There are actually only two turns still replenishment now because the trade port has a decent population. So as you see here, um, bonus to replenishment, not unlocked. Oh, that's interesting. I think that's one of the techs that you can grab. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, the population that your settlement has mm -hmm. will increase the benefits that you get from other things. So for example, peasantry income is yep. your like standard taxes almost. Uh, and that will be gathered from like farming and things like that. And the higher the population there is, the more people there are farming and stuff, the more taxes you're getting. So you'll get an increase to that. You've also got stuff to, to public order. So if you, if you hit your population cap, then you need to upgrade your settlement. Otherwise, you will get those pop, um, those penalties to public order. Yes. Which yep. is pretty nasty. Um, but yeah, as, as you can see, when we uh, get bonuses to replenishment and settlement administration construction. Uh, it might be because of administration as well. It might be the hit that we had to put an administrator in there. Right. So we've still got a fair amount of cash. Well, yeah, you've got you've got a decent amount of income, obviously, because of the hand and the um, the silk stuff you've got and the general trade. So yeah, you're, like doing, you're getting a money decent is amount fine. Of money, yeah, money's yeah. not a big issue for us. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to raise uh, Ma Chao's army or his retinue rather in Wudu, and then he's going to go and uh, repopulate Hanzong. Which nice. is going to give us a little bit more flexibility what as well. What's going on down here? Have you already moved this again? Yeah, this oh, is already moved. You literally just you, you out of range. You always keep moving when I'm looking at chat. <laughs> and then I look back and I'm like, have you done that? Uh, okay, all right. Thanks, Dan. Oh, I just clicked on the minimap. Fantastic. <laughs> and <laughs> zoom all the way down. <laughs> all right. Cheers. Oh, we haven't been using the gong for the battle initiations. Oh, we goodness. would be no threat to you. Even Sam wants before. some food for a non-aggression pact. He's a bit far away from me for me to worry about him. He's currently at war with um, with Yuran Shao's little coalition as well. Oh, yeah, he's not. Po he's weak. Yeah, I'm not too worried about. Oh, him. look at you can see his power though. He's yeah, weak as very very weak. Oh, uh, we can actually see some Yuran Shao stuff going on now. That was actually Yuran Shao, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Good. I told you it would happen. Why did you tell me that would happen? Because Sao Sao. Um, uh, had a went stopped being at war. Come on, help me. <laughs> <laughs> peaced out. Yeah, sure. What's it actually? What's it called? What's this peaced out? Non aggression pact. What? Yeah, I can't yeah I one know. of them. One he of them for peace. Yeah, with um, you Oh, so he was gonna he was gonna turn. Oh. Damn. I said. I said. Uh, let's call Hans Way for aid. My brain <laughs> did just uh, just aborted there. <laughs> but Sao <laughs> also um, still at war with Yuan Chao apparently. Or yeah, maybe, that's ha maybe that's Han Fu. Oh, it was Yuan Shu that he pieced yeah. out with. Got it. And that's why I thought he'd then be like... Yep. Oh, but... Declare peace with Dongmen. Oh, I don't like that.
Uh, Sun Jian has signed a peace treaty with Liu Biao. Doesn't help us very much. Uh, Dong Min's peace out of Hanfu. All of our enemies are peacing out with each other and declaring war on us, which isn't yeah. great. Yuan Shu has stopped fighting with Liu Biao as well. Hanfu has requested Zhang Yang to join their war. Ooh, Energetic versus Quiet. Confucius says it does not matter how slow you go, so long as you do not stop. There are some who would bemoan a glacial pace. However, in lieu of a more direct energetic action, in one greater is one greater than the other? The air is silent as you continue your contemplation. What are you going for? Sorry, I'm contemplating. Oh, sorry. Um, now, do we want to improve our relationship with Martung or Fugan? I think... Because Fugan is actually um, in one of our armies right now. So I think I might go for this guy. Just say that, yeah, we're quiet. This choice requires that you do not have the following trait, which we do not have, so it's fine. Let's go for quiet. Um, Wardog on Leech said, Total War going so ham on t on the war that Tom can't remember the word for not war. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of war? It's total not war. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Yang Yi is going on complicated. There's a lot of uncomplicated people in our court, aren't there? I guess they spread naturally. Right? Yeah, they're just sort of like, um, oh, wait. oh, she's she's abandoning that. She knows she like, can't win. Nope. <laughs> nope. Don't want anything to do with this. We won. So Delegate with that. Nice and easy. Now let us celebrate with abandon. My will is more true. Don't hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Look, food. Food has Yay. come. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, hopefully this is going to help with our population growth as well a little bit. Um, yes. Yes. Who <laughs> Um I don't want to upgrade to a livestock estate just yet. It's only a livestock estate, which means that, or it's only a livestock uh, farm rather. Which means that we're getting a little bit of income and food. We're not getting just food yeah, like we were doing farmlands. Um, ooh, those guys have ranked up now as well, which is nice. Might go for... Do you have any assignments you can send in? That's a very good point, Thomas. I've seen you do any for a while. Uh, let's see who we've got. It's only Fugan and he's already on assignment. Everyone else is a general right now, so maybe we need a few more characters. Uh, Hanan Yu is also ranked up. That one's really nice. Ignore Forest Spell Street, but also gives you that uh, authority, which improves their morale, and it stops ambushes a little bit as well, which is nice. So a nice little like mixed bag. And then Wufu here. Uh, let's go for Mighty Knockback. Extra damage when knocking back enemies. Beautiful. Sweet as. We've secured backseat, theoret technically, because our vassal is uh, Meat's also there. Meat's back on the table, boys. Meat's back on the menu. <laughs> uh, right. So Ma Chao, start marching down to Hang Song. Someone literally just asked, where is Ma Chao in YouTube chat? Here he is. Do you want to have a little look in? He's in the shadow, unfortunately, yes, so yeah. a bit difficult to see. He's got that really cool armor as well. Uh, and then here's his uh, character art as well, looking very, very cool. He's got that heirloom spear, which is a silver ranked item, which is pretty nice. Only one below unique. Um, let's give him a new horse. Whoa. Yeah, you're right. Oh, looking a bit more brooding now. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So Lu Jiang only ha Oh, he's got the armor craftsman. Fantastic. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, and Cheng Du, You're I didn't even realize we were at war with, but apparently he is. So, so many people now. Yeah. Oh, another one? Sure, whatever. You're so obsessed with that armor craftsman, aren't you? Oh, I just want some cool armor, man. Really want some cool armor. I wonder if... Here's a question. If we were to negotiate peace... Oh, we can't because it would have to have Han Sui, uh agree with us. This is one of the downsides to being in an alliance. It means you don't get full power over your peace treaties. Yes. Yeah. Which means that you won't be able to try and coerce things out of people for peace agreements. Um, that's why coalitions are a little bit more flexible. But it d means that you also won't have the guaranteed benefit of um, yeah. of your allies coming to help. Right, let's, let's have a look. More look. look at how much. I must it takes. Yes. Me. Yeah, we can take that. Large town garrison. Yeah, it's weak. <laughs> it's weak. It's weak. Let's go after him. It's because there's no road here as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah so no, we're struggling. I, um, I had a campaign up here, and like you're moving through uh, up through the desert. It's just yeah, like, yeah. You're, it takes so long. Yeah. It's it's a real commitment if you go after it. Martung looking a little bit more like he's uh, he's getting ready, ready he's for battle. Done. So we want to start going after Lo Yang now. Start taking down your own Shu, which is gonna be really good. Your own Xiao. Oh no, Liu Bei is moving down the river. I'm assuming to come and kill me. That's a cool boat. Um, that's a very cool boat. Cool. I'm guessing he's going to come and try and kill me. They've got Shan's um, Swordguard Cavalry as well under 
Liu Hui Min. It's just like my Let's Play. It's all happening. Well, that's interesting because that means that he went into a marriage deal with Liu Dai, just like I did, which is really cool. Um, but he's also got Fan Chu and Ju Shu. Stratus and cavalry there. A lot of cavalry in this army. A lot of cavalry. Interesting. So Martang needs to watch out there because you can move quickly down the river. Look at the moving range on this guy. Go all the way down there. Rivers are really good for uh, for maneuverability. Right. Okay. I think you're... That's me for the turn, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I'm getting really hungry, uh -oh. actually. Me too. Yeah. We should probably mention that we're doing an AMA, shouldn't we? Oh, that's today, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got the details, my friend. Well, let me get the, let me properly Tolerance get the details the before I start offer. doing this. Mm. Oh no, he wants me to get the trade form. No, God no. See it later. You insult us. Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> did you see? I also did my um, CA Reddit tag. The one oh, out. Tom. Yeah, but I reckon there's a, there must already be a CA. A Tom on the forums. CA. Um. Basically, we have a um, what's Ooh. what's its what's its term again? Because it's not an AMA, is it? It's the Yuran Xiao Festival. As the night draws in, you hear the sounds of celebration in the distance. Distracted from your meditations, you see hundreds upon hundreds of brightly coloured paper lanterns hanging from every house and tree. The sight is truly beautiful to behold. Plus ten public order. Thank God <laughs> for five turns, we're getting some public order. That what is treat. good stuff. Kongsi Zan has had to establish a new capital because he's probably lost some lands. We've got a bodyguard. Oh, that's a good follower. Look at this guy. Plus four resolve, plus four instinct, and melee evasion. For, for the whole retinue. So, my baby has become trusting. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, car carry on. So, if you head over to reddit.com, forward slash r. You may have heard of <laughs> Yeah, don't know if you heard of this website. Up and coming. Um, yeah, reddit.com, forward slash r, forward slash total war. And then you can see our little subreddit that's run by the community. And we are doing an Ask Us Almost Anything. Um, so you can basically ask us almost anything. And it's it's Picture around victory. classic mode. So if you go and over there, you can drop any yours. questions that you have about classic mode um, or records mode specifically. And let us know what you want to ask. We'll do our best to through. answer them. Tiago says, hi, Mr. Wheel and Mr. Tom from Thailand. Hello. I like Mr. Wheel. That's a great <laughs> name. Thank you for that one. Um, yeah, how's it going? Um, if you've got any burning questions that we, we might have missed, jump on over to Reddit. Let us know them, and uh, hopefully we'll get to them. I just put water in my face. Fantastic, Mr. Tom. <laughs> always happens, it always happens with the last Mr. Thomas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Look. Cy Aww. Yang, and we've, we've become friends. That's so great. you can have good relations. So this, um, yeah, this guy <laughs> actually only likes one of them. So they doesn't don't get like off with Hannah you. Oh, but, so yeah, but these two are, are now friends. Um, because after that battle, we fought side by side in battle, and together we utterly devastated the enemy forces. So good stuff. Oh, and Cy Yang and Hannah Yu themselves. Yeah, everyone gets on with Cy Yang. He's such a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loves him. He's a real nice guy. There we go. And we killed off their strategists as well. So, yeah, this dude, struggling. We can probably go after Chengdu Farmland as well. A little bit more food. Marsh and they've got a salt mine. Yeah, it's Sorry, Marshall's time. asking. Um, how, how can you get the panda? Now, the panda's not for giveaway, but... I'm trying he's actually to look. on the shelves oh, over there. No. We do have... Uh, have you been checking Streamlabs at all? No. I wonder if anyone's actually done any redemptions, because... Last um, stream, I, I, no one did any. So we do have the sword there. We do have the sword. We've got do the Jian it? sword. Do you want it? Yeah, got that. Yeah, we have a uh, load of cool props that we can bring out. Jeez. Oh, I need to get on camera, and it has to be in your face. <laughs> yeah, we've got this beautiful Jian sword. Um, which is LARP safe as well, I believe. So you can actually you can hit people with it. It is LARP, which is LARP pretty good. safe. <laughs> <laughs> really, really nice. Um, but yeah, if you want any cool props, um, such as the Jan Sword, or even uh, the Kong Rong Dong Gong. Spectacular. <laughs> um, we've got one from last week's stream, but there must I was checking it, so it must not come through. But someone said during gameplay, we saw some factions being called Duchy of. Yes. Go on, I'll accept right. this. So yeah, we're accepting a question I get here. The panda. Um, so a few people said that um, in the last chat they noticed uh, a few faction names changing. So the reason for that is, as you grow in power, once you hit the rank of Duke, you will become the Duchy uh, of X, Y, or Z. Uh, so for example, I don't know if we'll become the Duchy of Ma. <laughs> oh, here he comes. And there's Bamboo the Panda. He's going to be a bit out of focus. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, you will become the Duchy of, uh, for example, the Duchy of Shu Han if you were playing as Liu Bei, um, or the Duchy of Zong if you were uh, Yuan Shu. So um, that will also change as you become a kingdom. So when you reach the, the rank of king and try and make a bid for Emperor, hello, Bambu, how you doing? You right? Um, as you uh, yeah become that, you'll become the kingdom of, and then you'll also get this nice little dragon emblem around your name tag as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, similar <laughs> thing to like, um, <laughs> Panda is 13th Lord, confirmed. Yeah, we've, uh, similar thing to how your name would slightly change in uh, Thrones, I think, as well, when you when you reach yeah. certain um, victory conditions. Um, with pineapple or without is a question on I shall not Steam. What? Pizza. Oh, I'm, with. I'm assuming. 100% with. I'm also with, and I feel people like people that hate are pineapple and pizza right are children. They today. are, and I also <laughs> now feel that because ne both of us agree, it's everyone, not go well everyone yet. in chat will hate it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, we've captured a bit of Dongmen's territory. Nice. And a nice thing about the Anding province is they have an animal tamer, which Han Sui is about to colonize, which is annoying. Um, but this is like a weapon craftsman or a um, armor craftsman, in the way oh, that yeah, no, it's fine. He can be there. Uh, in the way that um, it will spawn uh, rare horses for you, which is really cool. Killed you wrong. Grogia is just ranked up. Let's give him that armor piercing damage. Um, I okay. saw something else I wanted to look at, and I have forgotten what it is. So good. Glad I mentioned Good job. It. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Liu Bei is on land. He's landed near Luoyang. So if we try and go after Luoyang, we'll have to go through him. Which is a bit nasty. I might recruit some more of these big boys. Do we bring this big boy in? Chiang Marauders. Are you going to do it? Oh, think, there's think, no think, actual think, hole there. Yeah, I think you should do it. I think I should do it. Okay. You're going to have to pop a hole in it. Oh, I know. So those are the... Uh, I'll give you the stats for these guys. These are the um, Chiang Marauders. I'll be, I'll be back a bit in a bit again. So 67,000 health. 57 morale, 258 melee charge bonus. Of course, that's being um, affected by m the actual general who's in charge of them as well, which with Ma Tung, obviously he's going to do a lot of benefits to your cavalry. Okay. Are those helium balloons? <laughs> We've got some helium balloons that my girlfriend sent me Valentine's, which we're just going to do now for some you're reason. Gonna, you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. You yeah. need to do it as well, right? No, you're doing it. They are big boys, though. Um, oh, my goodness. So right. I think... You ready? Oh, God, then. Where is it? Is it there? This is the hole. Yeah? It's a big hole. You ready? <laughs> the audio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Welcome to Tell War Live. There you go. That's weird. Yeah, oh, it didn't last very long. Didn't last very long. No, there's not a lot. There's not a lot in there. You do one. I'm, I'm glad we're finally getting rid of the balloons. <laughs> they have been sort of taking up space in a little art exhibition. I'm going to have my turn there because I'm just sort of flicking around the map. Uh, Mike Lou said, "Are there any differences between records and romance of heroes, or is everything the same?" Uh, so there, are, there are other differences. Um, we said them at the start of the stream, but we'll just quickly repeat them. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, stamina has much more of an effect. So, yeah, huge um, effect. And stamina impacts actually a lot of things in the battles, which actually makes them play out a lot slower. Mm -hmm. um, armor and weapons are more true to history, so things that wouldn't have been necessarily in that time period um, are in yep. the records mode. Anything? Um, there's also, I think, some of the events will change around. Yes. Uh, so some, so for example, if there's an event where your uh, general goes out and slays a thousand men and gets some experience points for it. They're not going to pop up in records mode because they're they're the more romanticized versions. You're going to do one now, yeah? Yeah, I'll do it. Go on, then, son. I love how we say "do it" as if it's like popping a whiff it or something. <laughs> the thing is, it tastes really weird. <laughs> it's also so cold. Yeah, it's weird, it's really isn't cold it? Cold air. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not enjoyable. Oh, uh, comedy gold. <laughs> this. Do you want another one? Go on. Tell me when it's too much air. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is our really mature stream on a uh, big strategy game about warfare. <clears throat> okay, my so. Breath, um, my, my mouth feels weird. Yeah, I know. So you, you'll see that Liu Bei has uh, gone back on the river. Yuan Shu just moved a force around here somewhere. Or around here. I don't know where he's gone, and I'm scared. 
Um, these guys are going to be finished replenishing in one, two turns. I mean, actually, maybe we'll just start marching anyway. Let's just start revealing some of this map. Uh -oh. There he is. There he is. Do we go after him? He's got a weak force. They're mainly uh, militia. He does have trebuchets, though. We don't have any range. Should we go for him? I love having no range. That's as good a time as any. Let's do it. He has got... Oh, God's sake. Just as I said, he's got no range. I've just realized he's encamped. So we're going to have to do an encampment battle with no ranged units. Let's just do one of those. Uh, and we'll start the battle. <laughs> you going to... No. Well, if he dies, then it just means that you'll take over his march out, right? Oh, my throat. Man. Battle of Luyang. Okay. Can we have How a helium voice mode? Maybe. Maybe some. Maybe we could. If you want mod it, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, all the voices are helium voices, mm. and campaign ones are all PA system. <laughs> That's quite the mod. So, as you can see, they've got some trebs here, which are uh, preparing to fire on us. Two units of them, actually. Um, they've set up this little defensive square um, to, to protect the choke point as well. And then, yeah, lots of spear units guarding those gates, which is going to make it difficult for our cab. Although, interestingly, right here in the center, they've gone for the for their sentinel. Who, like, to be fair, not a bad choice. Yeah, not a bad choice. He's a tanky boy. But, yeah, where do we want to put this cab? It's only D militia. They do have charge reflex, though, so it's going to be difficult. What's, uh, the, <laughs> what's the game plan? I don't know. Well, I, I think... Tell me My suggestion think. would be swords up the up. So basically, have swords here. Mm -hmm. I think at the back. I think both. Oh, well, it's two. I think both. I didn't, two. I didn't realize there was two there as well. Yeah. I think you try and get all your all of your infantry to break through this gap, and the cavalry just waiting, save yeah. their energy. And once they break through, they break through behind. Just save them. They don't need to be attacking. Everybody. Just want to point out. Somebody said this settlement is very boring. This isn't a settlement. This is an encampment battle. So uh, Yuranshu has set up his camp here. And actually, you're being very offensive. To yeah. Shu. <laughs> he has set up this little camp. Look, he's not an artist. He's a commander, yeah. all right. Uh, but yeah, this is this is an encampment battle, which is a stance that you can take. Um, but they basically, yeah, they've set up like a little encampment, put the mm -hmm. put the walls up, so they've got a little bit more defense. Uh, so well, yeah, we'll set a little little vanguard force here. We'll get a couple over here as well. You're gonna have to split these up into groups, actually, aren't they? So I'll pop this into two, make this one. Um, and then we'll get our last one here. How much do you wish you had some ranged? A lot. I wish I had some trebuchets. That would make this incredible. Uh, then we'll grab our generals and put them on each side. Okay. So we'll put you there, you there. And then March Chow, uh, my tongue, sorry, might actually be able to just sort of swarm through the middle. Maybe. Just for a quick charge. Shot. Uh, hide cabin woods and attack troops from other side. They will move all of their troops there to flank them. It's not a bad shout. It's not a bad shout. If we got a little bit of. Uh, problem is, all of the yeah. woods are very far away. No, I think we'll just we'll just we'll just stick to the plan. We'll go for the four pronged assault. Here we go. Let's move forward. Walking up. Yeah, walking up. You could set walking to default. I could. I don't like it. When, when you're... For the heat of battle. Exactly. The moments in which you want it to be really quick mm. uh, is when you end up having to double-click and you just get screwed are up. Are those trebuchets turning to face your general? Yes, they are. Yeah, of course. They're going to fire on us. You, you would okay expect that, right? standing still? Here comes the trebuchets firing into our lines here. Hopefully, they're low rank. They're rank three. So, their uh, accuracy isn't going to be incredible. But we'll see. We'll see. These guys moving forward? Yeah. The time has come. You realize this champion has 86 cavalry in his unit. He's a big boy. It's a tanky unit. It's a massive Clear. unit. Clear. Clear. Oh, I love that lighting when the, when the fog gets the sort of Beautiful. orangey hue. Yeah, so they've they've repositioned their G militia over here. Let's move those guys out of the way because they're actually taking a bit fire now. Um, oh, they've got G, G militia on every on every flank. Uh, I mean, yeah. Played you. Yeah. Now the archer fire's coming in. Those guys are very heavily shielded, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried. Um, this is probably our best shot at getting in. Yeah, especially as these. Oh, look, yeah, they've shifted around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hurry! 
Yeah, really is. Right, at this point I'm just going to charge now because they're taking so much trebuchet damage. Yeah. It's a logical choice. Here they come. You might not want to get your general too close because there is arrow tires. Arrow tires? Arrow towers might fire upon you. Uh, yeah, okay. Just keep it there then. Okay, well, send those boys in there. These guys will just sit back. There we go. Purple v red. You need to get through, guys. Please get through. He's popping his flag now. Yeah, I love that. Right. Ah, oh, they're not actually hitting it. Not doing a great job with anything, to be honest. <laughs> Our not, warriors not very useful right now. They're actually fleeing. Dogs. What? Oh, that must have been the half strength one that we just recruited. To be fair, still. It's you not know what? Let's just, let's just move them around. At least they can't be shot as easy as they're just uh, go. Right, four pronged assault is on. These guys are going to go. Oh, we don't shield walkers. We don't have our strategist with us. This is not an advantageous battle. No, I'm, I, I don't know what you're going to do here. It's fine. That's what I say. There's our spear guard getting in. Those big boy shields. You're going to have to save them. Mate, if I lose the battle, I lose the battle. It's my own fault. <laughs> my tongue, my tongue, sorry. Oh, they're taking so much range damage. At least they're taking the... Ooh! That's a big moment for us. We baited them out. The old bait and switch. Get in there, boys. Come on, lads. Do it. So what else can you attack the walls? Uh, I don't think you can climb the walls. They're just little palisades. We are burning their towers, though. Look. Big fan of that. Because we've got uh, radar, in, radar units. Right, cr into those crossbowmen now. Here we go. This is where it all kicks off. The cav are in. The floodgates are open. Keeping attack. Split these guys up. Yeah. We're in now, you and Chu. Squash all his own tents. Run, run. Yeah, very rude. Have your sense. units kind of... Horses. Are they dead here? They're no, they're just uh, charging okay, up against the spear infantry. One, uh, one oh, these G militia are trying to pin me in now. <laughs> and you're just running into the fire. <laughs> That's fine. They'll get scared by it. Cavalry, Is it one of these characters? Siege escalation. The enemy unit oh, flees. yeah, no, it's this guy, isn't what it? Coward. Oh, this isn't technically a siege, Double is it? Ah, uh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Too many spears. Move, move. He baited you. <laughs> he baited you in. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Now we're going to hit him in the back with these boys. It's all good. It's all good. Let's bring our generals a bit closer as well. Let's send these boys a bit support. These G militia are holding that wall so well. Yeah, really not breaking through. Bad, 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 bad. I think he's played you. He's done well, hasn't he? You thought you had a gap in. Oh no, those are spears! Oh no, they're not braced, they're not braced. That's fine, that's, not, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, you thought you had a gap in and go, he's played go, you like a Well, fiddle. it technically was a gap in, but it just wasn't a good one. Come on, Tom. We're gonna have to pull through Look now, the enemy run. Good. Good. Who's running? It's the trebuchet unit. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, you Charges need to break some boys. guys through. Yeah, I know, they're struggling. There's G Militia. You get March out to flank into the back. Yeah, I need I need Attack, some kind of come. flank if I'm going to win this. Here we go. Oh, these these walls are burned down. <gasps> oh, that's huge. Go 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 go. Oh, I wish I'd known that would happen. <laughs> I would have used that to my advantage. Yeah, I haven't fought. Our oh, warriors go, run. Go, 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 go. Well, it's because I've got those marauder units. Right, pull out, pull out, pull out. Why do my cavalry always get melted whenever we do a battle? Yeah. Prepare. Bet you wish these. Down, I'm gonna bring him round here. Nice. Cool, 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 cool. They're routing because of the, um, the fire. The fire, yeah. How do you think this is going? The not good. The power doesn't agree. With no, you. not good. There we go. We finally push through one of the one of the gates. Look at this clump of units. Just get out, lads. Just get out. They were going pretty ham trying to get my child, weren't they? Yeah, they really wanted to utilize that. My champion's going to be really important now because he's pretty heavy unit, pretty fresh. Oh, I can't believe how much we got played there. We can start bringing in our Sentinel now. Machao is not doing anything. What's Machao doing? He oh, is. Sorry. Oh, God. This is one of the other issues of splitting your forces. Up. You can never actually see what everyone's doing at once. These G Militia are just uh, standing. ruining us. 
get flank on them. Our warriors well. run! Get Craven inside, dogs! Do you not do you not try want to try and break through your spear boys? Come on, lads. Big charge, big charge. Getting so there. many men. <laughs> so <laughs> many of them. Down. They're huge. Yeah, nice into the back of those. Um, Old the Andrews so does one of the stats effects bodyguard, general bodyguard size. Yes, is um, skills you can choose. Oh, effect. is there? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that. So skills you can choose that will affect the bodyguard unit size. Wow. Look at the enemy there we go, run. that's pushed them through. Craven. Everyone apart from you start forming a line up here. Move, move. Yeah, you just take that one. Yeah. Just riding around, killing Take everyone. Heed, Pull her out. Stand by. Oh my God, got like 18 men Move left. There's it. too many Move spears. Okay, he's just running into more spears. I know. There's nowhere to go for him. Attend. Fight. Spearmen. To attention, spearmen. Okay. All right. Those archers are obviously routing because they're just tiny the archer units. These guys. Managed to get away. Hopefully, they've recovered a tiny bit of stamina. Uh, software changes are required. Make Pull ready. these boys out. Right, you Attend. charge now. Go. Go. Attend me, oh my God, he's got surrounded now. Attend. Our warriors run. Craven dogs. After your Anchu now. I assume your calves back up top. To attention. Yeah, no. I've, I've Make them ready. Get him off those archers. Sorry, Ooh. bamboo. Bamboo. This is not the time. Not time for a cuddle. Stand ready. Come on, lads. They're a G militia unit. They're literally the strongest G militia <laughs> unit to ever exist. MVP militia unit of all time. Spearmen, attend. Attend. Attack. Come on, lads. Thomas, you can do it. Well, it said, it said period them. victory, so we were expecting one. Into the back of these guys now, and need to get away from those demon militia. My tongue's around a little bit. He's not holding his way. He's not great, is he? A little bit of damage there, a little bit of support for him. Can't believe how much these militia just won't die. The enemy unit still going. No, it's mad. The enemy is still fighting. There we go, finally. Right, these spears. Go. Need to kill off your Anshu now. Come on, lads. Oh. How many men's he got? He hasn't, he's still got a lot of. A lot still of 57. Left. I, think, yeah. I think he's still got more than most people start with. He's doing all right for himself. Get to those, you wrap around. Nice. Their strategist is fleeing, which is handy. Good. Yeah. And he's pro properly broken as well, so he won't come back. The yeah, enemy unit flees! Actually, these guys are all speaking it, so they should be able to destroy those uh, oh no, you got no Not another G militia. Not a G militia. Anything but G militia. That's it. Send them into the into the death clump. Now we can pull these guys out. My child's got ten men left. He's fine. He's not fine. He's gonna die. You pull over here. Oh, definitely more suited to romance mode. <laughs> in Struggle City right now. I am really in Struggle City. Oh, go away, G Militia. They're everywhere. Be everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> All of you just desperately looking around like, I'm like is there like anyone left? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boys. Our men flee the battle. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's propaganda. Who's, who's fleeing? Uh, these guys here. Okay. Spear guard. Oh, they're trying to lock me into these G militia. I can't believe how well they, they've used these spears. Almost killed one of their generals. My sentinel just doing her best to hold down. Go, get into the back of Yangon. Kill him. Kill him off. The enemy warriors are running. Nice. Ha! Nice. I don't know. Maybe. Yes! Kill your Anshu. <laughs> Just going from general to general, hoping that I can kill them all off. Go, 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 go. Honestly, these nine Sentinel Cav, they are so tanky. They're just Where's, holding out. Where's she? Is she still going? Uh, That's her wife, by the way. Yeah, I know. She's over here. Look. 
Come on, lads. Let's hope she does all right. <laughs> I'll pull the champ out and start using it to, to kill off some of the other units. This is a bloody battle. Only Corn wins with this one, as Cyril Oak says. So we've only put ourselves in bad battle situations. Yes. Well, so that's naturally what you do, right? Yeah. I'm going to fight the easy ones. No, I mean, we've only initiated bad battle situations. <laughs> Never put ourselves in a good situation. Oh, she's coming oh, back. God. Oh, God. Brace, 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 turn brace. Face. Turn around, turn around, turn and face. Everyone's just knackered as well. Oh, he's not coming for him. Make ready. There's five of them. To attention. Fight. I'm terrified. As soon as she and dies as well, we're going to start getting routes everywhere else. Oh, you have captured this um, yeah, we have morale captured. point, though. It's going to help with them routing. Yes. Ready. Oh, run, run. Martung's, Martung's not oh enjoying himself. Six people left. Come on, lad. Go, go, go. Let's get out. Move. Where is he? I bet he's still in there. Probably. Is that him? Uh, No. No. He's there. Yeah, he's still there. Okay, he's fine. I might actually use him to get in the back of these G militia here. Kill them. Risky move. Oh, mate, I need to do something. Come on, lads. Oh, no, more swords, guys. Oh, these are back. I didn't even realize. Chuck them in. I honestly can't believe how badly this is. I'm looking so at this scared. meat grinder. I'm so scared about this, this charge you're about to do. It's like two battles in a row where it's gone really badly. Pull back, pull back. They route us! <laughs> route oh, our they're unit! They're already routing. Oh no. A blood oh, fury no. Has oh yes, he's men. gone. That's actually helped. I think he's actually gained health because my wife died. <laughs> no way. Yeah, alright, alright. Pull back, pull back, pull back. So even though they hated each other, secretly deep down. Well, he's still my <laughs> wife, right? I'm like, you killed my wife. Pull away from those gentle guard and just try and kill off your anti Obviously, if you're lucky, if you're very lucky, there's a chance you'll only be wounded. If you're lucky. I don't know if that happens with generic characters. I think mean, it's only the properly legendary guys, just to keep them in engaged. Keep them around. Oh, G Militia have ruined my game. Oh, they're capturing their point back as well. Get over there. The music has got very somber. It has. Martung still technically alive. Come on, lad. Look how tired he is. He's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. We could withdraw. This is the fall of our empire. We were meant to kill Ma, Ma Tong in the second stream wars, not in this one. Sorry. My bad. Can we get up the hill? Clutch move here. Where are all our spear units? One is so far away. Still holding that point, though. You need to keep it. No, 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 Right, we've actually got a nice charge here. The enemy warriors are running! Don't know. Oh, arrow tower. Okay. Go, go, go. Come on, boys. Right, that's broken now. Mate, this is desperate. This is so clutch. They're holding, they know they're routed. It's just general theft. But we've almost killed all their units as well. Oh, come on, lads. Break them, break them, break them. They're almost broken. You know what you could do? You could capture this out of the towers. Look, the enemy it's run. not a bad shout. Craven. Are they firing over here as well? One of the towers. Oh, firing. God, it is, yeah. Prepare. I think we have to, do you know? Although, no, because we're just charging towards the arrow towers, so we're just going to lose vital men. Into the back of your head, shoe. Yes. This is not a deserved victory. Kill him. He's routing. He's gone. Pull back. Pull back from the G Militia. Try and get a charge on him. Could split them. Send March out one way. No, they're gone. They're gone. Oh my god. <laughs> Our victory grows ever closer. No, that, was, that was 16 minutes of you just <laughs> doing not good battles. That is. If you look up the phrase. But at what cost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's just an image of us on Google. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. I feel like I need to apologize to everyone watching how badly that went. I think you do. This is what happens when you don't take any ranged units. <laughs> so why don't you have any in here? I need to give her some, don't I? Because she gets she gets bonuses too many days. Yeah, She's we dead. need a mod to change Pyrrhic victory to Martung victory.
Celebrate! Oh, Our my wife's dead. Was just. My wife's dead. We <gasps> captured oh, your no. aunt too, though. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, what's he got? Execute. Spy master. Execute. Execute. Oh, it gives you a special assignment. Aid espionage. Execute. Everyone in a shout. Oh, yeah. Is he's gone. This a mercy. <laughs> See you later. We need, I think we need to recruit. <laughs> So, oh wife God. dead, but you and shoe dead. Yes. Vital trade there. Vital trade. Murder. Gain the spy master. He's really cool, actually. Let's grab. Let's grab him. Uh, I have to put. Yeah, have to pay respect. Yeah, we need a lot of Fs oh, in the I've... chat. A lot of Fs in the chat, please, people. No Fs for you and shoe. He's our enemy. Yeah. Rank 7 Martin, he survived! Somehow he survived! <laughs> oh is. my god. And now can you please recruit some ranged units? Yes, yes I can. I you, might need a, you, need a, yeah, you need a strategist. I might get another strategist in. Yeah, get him in. Okay, um... What do we grab here? Is there one that gives replenishment? Because that would be the really F's, nice. The F's are in. Oh, charge speed would be good. Faction support, faction wide. That's really nice, actually. And discipline to stop them getting um, morale debuffs if their general dies. Brickman says, is uh, Tisha, Tisha Sir in the game? Yes, he is. I think Tisha I'll Sir actually be able to see him because he's part of the Han Empire. Um, where is he? Is that him? No. Oh, there he is. There's Tisha Sir. Unfortunately, he's in a boat right now. Oh. Uh, but there he is. Taisha Sir, he is a legend. I really, really like this guy. He's really cool. He's got a load of really cool abilities in Romance Mode where he can like bombard areas with arrows as well. Yeah, that is one of the most Pyrrhic victories of all time, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but you and Shu died. Huh? But you and Shu did you die. Yeah, Shu did die. And that's all that matters, really. It's all about acceptable loss, you know? Right, these guys are replenishing and then we'll start making up for the rest of Anding. We've got a lot more cash now because a lot of our units died. <laughs> yeah, um, let's start marching Ma Chow. Yeah, towards this. Oh, he's gonna. Hmm? Who's gonna? Oh, he's already done it. I missed that. What? I didn't. Oh yeah, no, I've done that. that. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. Uh, we're building a proper town there now. Gotcha. I could actually just yeah instant construct it. I do love that button. People yeah. haven't seen that feature yet. There's a, you can yeah. pay extra for instant construction on stuff. Yeah, you basically just you throw money yeah. at the problem and it can get really expensive. That was the level one building, so it's only yeah. like 800, but when you do stuff like a proper like level yeah. five building or something, it's like 10 grand, something crazy like that. So that's going to give us more public um, population growth, sorry, and satisfaction for our champions, which is really, really useful. And we can get a new mission. Dire civil unrest. Tell me about it. Administration of this. I was going to say you should look at remarrying, but you shouldn't look at remarrying. Why? Because it's on the family tree. Ah, oh, yes. Very true. No, it's diplomacy. Oh, uh, it could be. Someone asking me to marry your Aunt Shu's daughter. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit creepy. That's very <laughs> creepy. Very creepy. Sao Sao moving up into um, into into E. He's taken um, quite a lot of your Aunt Shu's territory here. Yeah. Yeah, your Aunt Shu's capitulating a little bit. Um... Scared about this now, though. He's just out of range, thankfully. I cannot. Oof, big. So they'll they'll appoint their new leader in the next turn. Yes, they will. Um, let's start building. Do, do you not want to build the what would what, what was it asked? What was he asking? He's built administration I office. Want to get population group or something. But the mission. Oh yeah, no. But we need a rank three town to do that. Do you have a rank three I town? I do not. <laughs> Um, population growth, that's what we want. Let's get some land development. Because, of, yeah, zero population there. Not really that yeah. useful, is it? <laughs> you got reform as well. Oh, I do have a reform. Should we go more pop growth? Probably. It will give us a... Uh, ooh, peasant band. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, that will give us some more... Ooh, administrative positions and public order. And then have a look Damn. at this chain here. Because then what's next? So, so that food from fishing. Food, fishing, replenishment, food production, satisfaction for champions and spear warriors. If we go down this one, then we'll get sharecropping as well, which will give us all those buildings. And right at the bottom is Azure Dragon mm. as well, which is really sick. Yeah. Didn't actually favorite. get to see them, unfortunately, last time. We did unlock them, we didn't get to see them. We could get another trade agreement. 
I don't know if anyone likes us enough to trade with us. Valid point. Do you have any trade agreements right now? Yeah, with Hans Wei. Uh, let's right. let's just grab the agricultural tax relief. Uh, yeah. China <laughs> thrives when its people thrive. They should not be burdened by undue tithes and burdens and debts. Add to ask which army does Lu Bu work for? Usually Dong Zhuo. Is he still with Dong Zhuo at the moment? Uh, I don't think so, because he would have been the heir, so I think he would have taken over from Dong Ming. So he's probably, um, he's probably off joined another faction somewhere. I think there are a few things in the works to maybe look at yes. making it more visible where characters are, even if you can't see them on the map. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I'm not going to confirm that. It's yep. just one of the things that we're looking at now that we've got a little bit, little bit of extra time. Um, but yeah, population is starting to grow across most of my provinces now. Hang Zong, hopefully, will start to get that as well. It's currently at minus 12 uh, because of um, the uh, public order, I believe. So hopefully when that starts increasing, which yep. it is, yeah, there you go, then uh, we'll get a bit more from that. Yeah, public order minus 12. So we're minus 4 at the moment, but well, that's starting to improve. Uh, we've got general skill point available for Fugan. Fire arrows and night battles, obviously. Yeah. you got to get him in your army, I think. Yeah. Should we take him off his... He's giving us more money at the moment, which is <sighs> kind of handy. Tell you what, let's go in the court. And let's get a new... Well, before I, just... I do this, though, yes, please. Do I am going to do a control save. Because just in case it's the court in general, which is crashing out. Um, do we want to do this now? Three minutes before? Yeah, well, it's, okay, our it's our final action. Final action. Dian Wei Z is uh, it's a legendary guy. <laughs> Here comes Guy, welcoming, welcoming us with his cough. Thank you, Guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's grab him. And then next turn, we'll pop him in the army. Right. We'll end our turn there. See what happens. It's like a little cliffhanger. Liu Bei coming to try and murder us. That's going to end in tears. A lot of tears, probably. Oh, no, gone for head on. Interesting. Bad for Ooh, all. Ooh, Dong Min's got an army. Sneaky. Grand Shu's bringing more forces around. We detest you. Uh, this no. must end. <laughs> we no. will remember this. All right. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. So um, just a little sort of teasery start just to get us up and running. Uh, someone asked if Wheels is my real name. My real name is Michael Whelan. Wheels yep. is my nickname. Um, just a little teaser restart there, Yuan Yao becoming the faction leader. Uh, and we'll look at a few more uh, things kicking off, I think, in the next few turns when we kick off again. Uh, Wednesday, 3 p.m. next week, GMT that is. So that's yep. plus zero on the old time zones. All true facts. Come and join us uh, for the next episode yep. of our Ma Tung Let's Play. And if you can't wait until then to know more about Records Mode, then you can join us in yes. two minutes on the AMA on Reddit. So just go to Total Reddit and you can see the AMA thread and just drop your questions there and we'll do our best to answer them. And it'll we'll be others. Again, I'll tell you who's there. It will be Attila, lead designer, mm -hmm. you, content producer. Possibly. Me. I might go home and watch the football. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be there. Were we supposed to do a food order? I don't know. <laughs> Me, I'm Tom. Life's going to be there. His senior designer and yeah, Dom be will there. also be there. So there you go. Fantastic. We'll so fun. yeah, come and join us on Reddit for that. Um, yeah, I'll come down. It'll be fine. Uh, come and join us on Reddit someone for that way you can answer your questions. Someone said great plug. Don't know who it is, but someone on the Total channel. It's a great plug. It's a great plug. It was probably Guy, because he's sat right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everyone. This has been Total Life. I've been Michael Wheels Whelan. I've been joined by my dad, Tom Hawkins. Yep, uh, and we will join you next time for some more Ma Tung gameplay. Let's finish off the stream with a gong. <laughs>